Dom the Monko, Monko. Yeah, yeah, it's time for another episode of uh, uh, Ladies Night. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you go to hustlefit.com. Get the merch as well as the clothing line. Hustlefit.com. Men's, women, and children's clothing, t shirts, hoodies, jogger sets, leggings, and more. Hustlefit.com. Also, if you need your custom clothing, go ahead and hit me up at hustlefit.com, hustlefit at gmail, and hustlefit LLC on the gram. Make sure you tune in every Wednesday night for the conversation. Tonight, you are watching the one and only uh, Ladies Night, special uh, edition tonight. Tomorrow night, 9 p.m., we got what is called the Boys Club. Make sure you tune in. Probably not tomorrow night because I ain't going to lie, I ain't doing it. <laughs> but tune in. Don't tune in this Sunday either because it's Easter, motherfucker. But tune in every Sunday night for what is called... Let's talk about it with Miss Connie Marie. Uh, ladies, are y'all ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got some wonderful ladies in the building tonight. I'm your man Bailey, aka Mr. Go Get Him. And we are back in the building with another episode of Ladies Night. So tonight, <laughs> I got a house full of chocolate. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, I second that. Actually, I second uh, the motion. Um, second not chocolate. Mm. I'll pass as more as uh, caramel. Maybe a little caramel, like some a toffee, a little, a little, and like no some hazelnut. Hazelnut. A little hazelnut. You a said little, something about nuts. A little, uh, a little macadamia. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bright. Maybe some I almond. said something about nuts. I'm light bright. Maybe <laughs> like some almond. <laughs> No. She said she was light bright. Because I'm definitely only chocolate. <laughs> right, so apparently here. you don't see no other races or nothing in here. No other skin complexions. Yeah. We I, see your podcast on a regular basis. I don't so give a damn. I ain't chocolate. <laughs> That's crazy. There's different shades of chocolate, motherfucker. And I'm not one of them. You no, are a you shade are. of chocolate. I'm a, I'm, oh, you know what? She I white is, chocolate. Yeah. It's that melanin in it. So, yeah. yeah, I do got some, I got some chocolate up there. Big, big damn, chocolate White chocolate, I can't be... It's like a little brown. Baby, you a sugar cookie. To make the girl, to make the girl go okay. brown. Connie is canceled. Oh, okay. Okay. You know what? See, God damn it. That pen kicking in a little too quick, <laughs> too fast, too powerful. Yeah, you like, tried to hold my shit. God, oh, you know what? Uh, uh, you, you know what? You're right. Big I'm, boy I'm puffs I'm over shut here. Up. I'm going to shut the fuck up. Because you know what? I don't. I now forgot everything I was doing, saying, and thinking. Because I got to the Instagram story to post the story. And... I was just looking. That's the goal. I'm put, just looking, and put, I forgot what I was looking at. Put the mic in your face at. the way it's supposed to be, too. Huh? Put the mic in your put the dick in your mouth like it's supposed to. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Fix because, it. Because let me tell Fix you, it. this That's is it. how I know. Fix it. It kicked. It hit me because it's you, the you fact still that ain't you fixed st- it. <laughs> <laughs> she still ain't of, fixed it. She's scared of it today. <laughs> Baby, uh, she's just talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm scared to hit my own pen. Oh huh? shit! <laughs> you still ain't Girl, fix it. Fix the <laughs> mic, nigga. I did fix it. No, you did it. You did. I just did it right now. Pull it closer to you, like it's like it's supposed to be. Like you love it. Good lord, Jesus. Don't see you lost again. Let me, <sighs> baby, baby, let me Ladies and gentlemen, Tell welcome to another episode of Ladies Night. Tonight is about to be crazy. Um. My cocoa caramel toffee baby is fucking high as shit right now. She, <laughs> she, she can't even fucking fix a goddamn mic. Not quite. So, um, if, if y'all don't know, tonight is a different version of Ladies Night. Tonight, I pretty much got what I need for what I need to do 
with the ladies night in the boys club on the ladies night aspect. So ladies, when you guys come on now, it's fun talking shit and 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 we just going in on whatever. <coughs> boys club. Yeah, y'all niggas need to step the fuck up. Y'all niggas is slacking. I ain't even gonna lie. The <laughs> women show up almost every motherfucking week, but you niggas, uh, they show sure don't. That's crazy. It's sure weak. Don't. Yeah, the bitches real, real bitches to the, you know, not all of them is to real. the I wheels fall lie. off. You hear me? <laughs> well, I say these these real bitches. I appreciate y'all for showing up. Facts. For the first time ever, I didn't have to book a motherfucking show. My nigga did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they I got seem you. they seem cool. This 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 is gonna be cool. Oh, must die. All right. So first and foremost, we'll start. You know what? Fuck you. Yes, <laughs> 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 me. We gonna go to chocolate over here See, and work our way the other crazy. way. Uh, what is this? Star Kid says, "Hey girl, hey, hey, hey girl, girl, hey." Okay, <laughs> Haley. Introduce yes. yourself. Let the world know who you are. My name is Haley Jane. That's how you can find me on Instagram. And where, uh, where can they find you anywhere else? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> only fans. <laughs> Y'all can find me on TikTok too. I don't know how many E's at the back of that Jane though. Y'all can find it on my Instagram. Okay, so she got high when she made her TikTok. <laughs> Okay, what do you have going on? You got anything going on in your life? What do you do? Tell tell the people who the fuck you are. So I am a creative because I got my foot in a lot of shit right now. Mm-hmm. So she stink. Yeah. No. But <laughs> <laughs> so I am a full-time beautician, cosmetologist. I went to school for it, got my license for it. Real nigga, you feel me? Hold on. Do you hold watch on, hair? Hold on. Definitely watch there hair. There we go. Do you watch hair? Come wash here, and blow here, dry. Here's the thing. I'm going to tell you, she's damn good at what she did because I went in to become a blonde and you see what the fuck I ended up with. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yes, I have been, and I've been, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. Uh-oh. I've been in Phoenix for what? Mm, it's been about 10 years. And yeah. Ooh, yeah. Of you. I'm 31. But yeah, I do hair, so come and see me. Mm-hmm. I work at Enchanted Beauty Bar on Warner, 48th Street. Warner, 48. Okay, you in the Chandler Tempe area. Yep, the Tempe, Awatuki, Phoenix, whatever they want to call it, on that's, the borderline of everything. That's all white Tuki. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right over there. My business is called The Experience. So, yeah. Come and see me, ladies. What come kind and of see experience me. Experience do they plan on getting? They can get the best experience there is. I'm quick with it. I'm good with it. Quality, quantity. You feel me? I wash hair. You feel me? I do the damn thing. Don't play with it. Okay. And then the next question is because I know the niggas is want to know because they tune in. Is you single? Yes or no? I'm single as a Pringle baby. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but let me add, I'm a single mother. I have a four year old. Okay, okay, so so then the next question, the follow-up question for that is, how many niggas you done stabbed and shot? What? How how many niggas I done what? (coughs) See, she already pleading the fifth. (laughs) (laughs) Next is, she called herself a light bright. Tania said that she silk press and do do (laughs) K-tips. Who? No, no, no. (laughs) Haley, do you silk press and do K-tips? I silk press. I don't do K-tips, but I do sew-ins. I do everything else but K-tips. <laughs> okay, so there you go, Tania. She do everything but the K tips. Hit her up. Uh, I am what I am. The real legend says Connie Marie is awesome. <laughs> go Connie! All right, back to where we at. Back to introductions. Dang, that's we got crazy. Talia in the mid in, in the middle there. What'd you call yourself? Light skin Talia. You no, know, mm. you called yourself something else. Light too. bright. Light bright. Okay, <laughs> light bright is in the building. Introduce yourself. Hey y'all, I'm Talia. I just passed my nursing board, so yeah, I am a this nurse. This nigga a new nurse. said she liked to talk shit and everything. <laughs> now she okay. on camera I'm on a the mic. Shy. And she said, "I'm Talia. I'm a little shy and until you take me there. Just, and it's a different beast." So but I anywho, gotta take you tell, there. Tell them, tell you them, you can, tell them you can take care of them. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> so you just you just graduated nursing school? I just graduated school? I just graduated nursing school. I actually just passed my boards. 
Um, I do a lot of stuff. What is a lot? Give us some. Get, introduce us to some of the things you do. I do vending machines. I own vending machines. I got a trucking company. Um, I'm a notary, a signing agent. What else? Yes, what else? I'm very, like, to myself, secretive. I don't tell my business. All right, so where can they find you at? In the streets. <laughs> <laughs> give it what? I don't want to give out my Instagram. <laughs> I don't want no new followers. <laughs> When yeah. you see me, you see me. Okay. When you don't, you don't, huh? You hear me? You got anything going on? You, you... Uh, right now it's Ramadan, so I'm just fasting, staying out the way, you know, staying away from all the negativity, trying to stay positive, trying to keep push, keep pushing. That's True about story. it. So it's been a good march, you know. It's been a great march. Great. Emphasize. Been a great march. It's been good. It's been going good. Um, you know, that's about it. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Sir. Why you scoop my camera? My camera was fine. I'm just saying. Like first you saw my, you know. I gotta make sure she's in, now, in the camera too. Okay, but still, like I ain't in the camera. Either. I'm only in one camera. I can't be in two cameras. I only got one camera. Well, guess what? Haley only got one camera, too. Hey, I only got one whole, camera, too. The whole Kaylee. Kaylee. Haley. The whole. Uh, see? The whole. <sighs> see, no more. No, nah, you're done. <laughs> Can somebody bring me some fucking Doritos, some Fritos, or Snickers? Are they going to be the blue ones, the spicy ones? I like those. You yeah. know the motherfuckers hit. <laughs> Introduce yourself, mother. Y'all already know what's up. My name is Connie Marie. Y'all can find me on Instagram. <laughs> Connie Marie. Do, do, do. <laughs> okay, <laughs> grow, 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 grow. Oh, God, grow up. For real. Okay. Act your age. For real. Not much. Okay. You acted real humbly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was for show shots Dr. fired. <laughs> but nah, y'all can find me on Instagram though. Connie Marie 420. Uh, that Marie got two E's at the end. And the 420 is for what her ass is. It right is now. for my birthday, the day that I was born. She is knocked the fuck out. Look, somebody put dare. D A R E. <laughs> yes. Um, dare to care with these crazy motherfuckers. So here. I have a quick question for you, though. Ask away. Put the camera back on you. What type of moisturizer do you use? For your head, I just use good old Jergens lotion. I thought okay. it was baby oil. I thought it was. I was gonna say that. <laughs> I was Cisco. I was going with the Cisco. Is funny, that's a good one. I like that. The blue, no the blue that grease. One. That's that ultra healing. Okay. I know because I like that. What you say? Some blue magic. You hear me? I, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Ladies one. and gentlemen, especially for my yeah. for my guys, if y'all want to have great skin, drink a gallon of this shit every motherfucking day. Every day. Take your ass to the gym and work out. And, and hit money. that fucking steam room. Here comes the money. Here we go. It detoxes your body. You smell good. You feel good. You look good. So all you do is put jerkins. I don't put True. nothing else on Healing my on your head. On my head, like my that. skin. Yep. And see, this is a fresh shave. I shaved it this morning, which it's already feeling like sandpaper. You can hear it, like literally. It's just, that's crazy. It's like y'all should just be coming right back on. So I'm not actually <laughs> bald, but when my bar my last barber left, I uh -huh. started shaving my head because mm. I wasn't fucking around with another barber. Because nigga fuck up my head, I I have an attitude problem. Where was yep, flat out your hairline right. starting at? She's curious. She playing on your top today. Right? No, because he here. said he wasn't bought. I didn't know that. This was fun. Right here. Mm. That's where the hairline was? Yes. Boom, like boom. serious? That's yeah. where it is. Oh, right. Because I mean, if you, you let can, his shit you grow can, out. If you, can, you can see I still got hair. Mm -hmm. Like I wish it was bald, bald. And I ain't had to do this shit no more. I ain't even going to lie. <laughs> Any other questions, okay. motherfucker? <laughs> I know niggas be real mad. I'm losing my hair. No, I'm trying to get rid of my shit. I'm thinking about having it lasered. 
Yeah, niggas getting um, lace fronts, two nah. pays and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you one. I can give you a low No, you cannot. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Uh, Tania said, you had pics of where you had hair. Take your ass on my motherfucker. Uh, Go to my Facebook and my my personal Instagram, Mister Go Get Him Seven Nine. Mister yeah. Go Get Him. So. Is you talking about like recent or like back in the day? Back in the day, you had. I've hair. only been. I only started shaving my hair like four years ago. Four oh, okay. years. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So we talking. Back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah, your ass got caught. I'm gonna fuck all y'all up. <laughs> I'm crying. All right, Talia, how long you been in Arizona? I've been here since 2015. What you think of Arizona? Arizona is Arizona. Yeah. What do you think of Arizona? Hot. hot it's hot. Daddy. Hot. It's low key. You can come make some money out here, um, but. The niggas is weak and the bitches is weaker. It's hell. Can we get a <laughs> 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 Yes. Big one. Okay, Haley, how long you been out here? I've been out here since 2014. My anniversary coming up on Cinco de Mayo. What do you think, Arizona? I um I also think the same thing. Um I like it, but you know what? I I do love Arizona. I'm not gonna lie. I love the weather. I love the money I'm making. Um, you know, it's vibes in Arizona. It get a little lame. But, you know, it's all it's all good. It's a money making state right now. Get your feet wet and everything. And for faded and displayed, what you think of Arizona? <laughs> uh, I think everything is far. <laughs> Where you live at? <laughs> Nigga, you from LA. There's no. Okay, I'm about to say everything LA. is far. I'm not fucking from LA. What oh. would make you think I'm from LA? I've never said anything LA. I am from Inland Empire, okay? Okay. Yeah. Fontana. San, oh, Bernardino. San Bernardino. Okay. Oh so my get God. it correct, sir. I live in the valley. Fucking come at me like that. Okay? The stuff ain't far there. My bad. You live in the valley with all the white people and a little bit of money. It's okay. I'm so <laughs> she, sorry. she a valley girl. Yeah. Valley girl. You a valley girl? Yeah, she's a for real. That's a she valley girl. I'm damn near a valley girl now. Being there okay. Well, I'm from other fucking Los Angeles. <sighs> I can tell you this: being here in fucking Arizona ain't it's shit hot. far. It's like. Hot. In you LA, going from going five miles away takes you thirty fucking minutes to get there. Especially if you get to jump on the fucking highway. Oh, Everything is forty you, minutes. You for saying me. with the traffic, huh? Yes. Yeah. Everything is forty Most minutes death. for me. So everything. Where you live at? Down yonder. Down what yonder. City? Her podcast living. <laughs> live in Glendale, and this is the thing. I live oh, okay. over there on Luke, like Luke Air Force Base. Okay, I live far in the West spot. Valley too, so I live far about. But that's not far. Minutes. Jump it your is. ass that's on the like one. That's literally almost forty minutes away. No, it's not. yes, it is. That's I, it. What? See, and this is why you gotta stop smoking, cause your ass is driving like fucking Miss Daisy, cause you can't, you can't. I came here sober. I ain't gonna lie, I was forty minutes away too. Where'd you come from? I came from Mesa, Deep Mesa, though. Yeah, you East Mesa. Mm-hmm. That's what that sound like. To yeah. say Deep Mesa, that's called East Mesa. Okay, so that's the East Valley. <coughs> yes. Okay. okay. So I'm used to being in Chandler, Awatuki, Gilbert area. This is okay. the first time I've ever not lived in the East Valley. Yeah, I stay yeah. over there on the west, 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 west. But I drive all over this motherfucking city. They don't mean <laughs> shit. I do too, shit. I they got the everywhere. EOS all the way the fuck out there, Riggs Road. I take my black ass over there. They got EOS in Gilbert, Chandler. Uh, they got rid of the one in Awatuki. They got the one in East fucking Mace. I've been at every EOS. In I go to Avondale. I don't give a fuck. When I want to work out, and I know exactly what every gym has, I take my ass over there. I ain't gonna lie. If you're bad enough, and I know the pussy good, I'm coming to get that too. Because <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I forgot. Right, y'all y'all ain't been on the show. <laughs> Connie, Connie, you didn't warn them? You didn't warn us, Connie. Listen. Right. <laughs> See? Like, what? what I, I mean, it's kind of one of those, here he is, y'all. His, yeah. Yeah, and we got that. Yeah, oh, we okay, got so it. let me explain something to you. You're on a real nigga show. I talk real nigga shit. Ain't no such thing as a secret. I don't. 
I don't sugarcoat, I don't bullshit, I don't play secrets, and I don't hide. If you want to know something, ask, we gonna go there. Speaking of, Miss Connie Marie, mm-hmm. your podcast had a uh, show mm-hmm. uh, that you um, had to go do a shooting for mm-hmm. to do, I don't even know what the fuck they call that. Because it wasn't a rekindling. That's for goddamn sure. It for sure as hell wasn't. No rekindling going it's on. A, it's there. a catch up. Let's catch up and see yeah. what happened. And then I heard you was there too, right? Oh, she was there when the shit, the first, the shit went Correct, down. but I'm saying you was there for the first meeting. one, right? Oh, yeah, I was definitely there for the first one. Okay, oh, I'm so I'm just going to play Mr. Recap here real quick. So from what I'm hearing is... Well, let's not do that tonight. I got to switch it up. Um, Mr. Man was saying that you potentially may have been hitting on him. <laughs> Who are we talking to? I'm talking, ah! to you, I'm talking to Chocolate Thunder. Yes, do, that's you. Do we got to run the clip back? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Do we got to run the clip back and when I cut his ass off, it popped that balloon. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, you was on the show too? Oh. Yes, I was Haley. Yes, yeah, she was the on the show. The one with the snake skin pants and the jean top on who ain't got no fetish. <laughs> uh, I wasn't even paying that. Okay, then let me know. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, that's me. Well, according to him, you you was one of the females that was hitting on him in the in the in the green room or the back room with some bullshit. Oh, this was at the club. This was at the club. Oh, oh yeah, at I'm sorry, club. at the club. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all talking about briefcase? <laughs> yeah, briefcase. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. when we went to the club afterwards? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you was there too? <laughs> at the Jamaican party? At the Jamaican party. <laughs> Never stop to even say two words to the nigga. He wanted to make himself be seen and be known and be heard. But we kept walking. Okay, so what you're saying is that night he struck out. All the way around the board. All the way around the board. I mean, on, on my end, for sure. Okay, just, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Yeah. And then uh, put that. For, give me your phone. I'm alive. What you mean? Give you my phone. Then how about I set it down like right up in here? You know I be. I'm a little high right now, so I'm be. You got to be reminding me. I gotta. Okay. Bye. Got to get it together. Period. Oh. Oh yeah, he got you right here. You should have said something, slacker. I mean, you know what? Listen, I'm going through a lot over here. Yeah, clearly. Clearly. Okay, so y'all went to go do your little thing to see how things worked out. In this case, how things did not work out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so speak on it. Let's go. Can we just watch some of the clips? No, because I do not want to get... You know what? Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, That's my way to start Tania said, damn... Oh, wait. Tania said you had Pixel when you had. I already answered that. Then she said, damn, traveling for the cookie. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first and foremost, I am a gentleman. So there's no reason for me to make you get out the house when I can just come to you. Won't you be comfortable in your own spot? Plus, when I get done, you're taking your ass to sleep, so you might as well be at home. Uh, Terry on said, watch her from the other side. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome from the other side. You're welcome from the other side. Now back to where we was at. So, so how did how did this uh, how did your reunion go? Okay, so which one? The first one or the second one? Just, just go. Y'all Let's did go. a reunion. So you know, for the show after already, we already talked. The, we kind of already talked about. The yeah, first you do one like already. a little follow up and shit with the couples and shit. So, the first follow up reunion was a disaster because. When um, we had discussed apparently why we didn't go on a date, right? I let him go first, and his response on why you know his response was nothing to what the hell he tried to come with the second reunion, which is the exact reason why. Because I wanted to just hear if he had a you know a better understanding on why I didn't want to fucking go on a date with him. So what was the reason? The reason he felt it had apparently something to do with communication. <coughs> That's what he thought. And he tried to say it so peacefully. Well, you know, Miss Connie, you know, she's a working woman and she know I'm a cut the bullshit, baby. 
you're full of shit. <laughs> I'm finna let all that shit out. Like, you want to make it seem like, you know, you just this innocent. No, because now, you know, you bring in a different side to where I got it. Shit needs to be cleared up because everything you say, like I said, you did not say it the first time. Then once I gave my answers, oh, baby didn't like that heat. We have to cut the show <laughs> three, four times. Like, he had to go outside and cool off. Why? Because Mr. Humble was not humble. Stop oh, wait, why y'all ain't go on a date, though? Mr. We didn't go on a date because let's start with the fact that, hmm, we walk off stage mm -hmm. and we go, we go outside, we're smoking, we're talking. Mm -hmm. And he starts, we start, you know, he, I'm thinking he's about to really start talking some shit. No, he, he was like, okay, so what's, you know, what you got going? Like, you got a man? It's like, what? And I was telling him, like, you know, no, I don't at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a little bit of conversation. And then he starts to make his way to, like, oh, okay, like, you ever, like, uh, see yourself, like, being in a, multi like, social media relationship? Like, wait, and I'm what? With, wait, like, what? You, you, <laughs> like, why are you asking me these questions? Like, you didn't ask me nothing else. But hold on. This is what I, I want to get to the real shit, right? Yeah, you, we went over that. We didn't talk about that like two or three times. But I want the real, real. Yeah, like no. Just we know like what the fuck is social media. Having a camera media. follow you yeah. around and just putting on a persona like you're a, a, this happy ass couple. And that okay, was wrong with you, you, weird ass niggas. I don't niggas. fucking know you. <laughs> no, no, Why would I even like on, that? Don't on, make no on, sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give you the male perspective of this shit. Okay, give it to us. I don't know you, uh, but I watched the show. And yes, I'm the nigga that actually reached out to you in the DMs because I'm actually going to show that shit too, nigga. Because you lie. And I don't do funky ass, lying ass niggas because that's real female ish. Okay, now you're coming across as a fucking feminine little bitch. And I will say that to your face. Two, ladies, y'all be asking for these. Be more emotional. Be an emotional man. That's what you call an emotional man. That's what y'all be asking for, okay? Stop asking for emotional men, because when you ask for an emotional man, uh, did you feel safe around this nigga? To be honest, I really felt like I was going to have to fight this man. I'll be I so told honest with you. on the show that that nigga was toxic. See? I could read that shit from a mile away. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I kid you not. Like, when I, t I, told, I, th like I said, I had to tell my brother about that shit. And it was just a simple fact that it's just like... <laughs> I'm not even, yeah, I'm like, I'm cool. I'm cool. That was way too many red flags. I'm, I'm just cool. <laughs> you I'm cool. Thought you was going to have to fight I'm that cool. Nation. And it's so crazy knowing, like, you know, the fact that even after, he piggybacked all my answers. off. Of, like, if anybody really looked through that damn show, and when they asked, like, why, you know, we didn't go, no. His answer, he never really answered it. Because it's like the fact that that was my main thing was saying you are a clout chaser. And it's the fact that you tried to make it seem like I reached out to you to rekindle shit. <laughs> Baby, yet again, at that time, I just finished burying my family. So with that being said, I'm not trying to be at odds with nobody right now. I'm on a healing journey. So therefore... I'm not trying to sour my feminine energy with bitterness. So therefore, if I know we're going to have to cross each other's path again. So... <laughs> why do we have to be like, why we got to be at each other's necks? Like, no, let's just be cool. Have an understanding. But like, it don't got to be no beef. But now look at it. You know, you want to sit there and because your image is going to get diminished uh, based off the fact because you're not really humble, but because you're not getting invites to go do shit, because your music is not whatever. It's not moving the way you want it to. So you think by uh, me sitting there and actually, you know, acknowledging my achievements and shit that I got after the show. But you're, you're feeling some way because a lot of shit that he was saying as I was watching him, man, I'm not even, the man has true issues, like anger fucking problems. Watch how that man is shaking his leg. He want to go off so fucking bad. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was laughing and smiling because like I said, the first time was so unexpected because we both got like, he, we both got to a point where it's just like, all right, you're not friend to be yelling at me and thinking I'm going to keep my composure. No, like that's out. As a man, you know, like it's, it makes it hard for me to respect a man when you're acting like a female, period. Because if I don't feel that energy from you, I'm going to now have to treat you like a female. And that's just what it is. Because you can make it seem like I'm putting you down. No, I don't care how you said what you feel or say. You even said it in the clip. You were saying all the right shit to win. But once we got off that stage, oh, let me be transparent. 
please run that clip back because I screenshot at the time frame and that just goes to show. That's why it was like, cause when I was uh, filming the follow up, I'm not going to lie. I had to smoke a whole fucking blunt because I had to, I really had to like stimulate myself to where I'm like, I'm going to go in here and I'm not going to allow this man to get me out of my element. Like the way he did last time, <coughs> because he's a, he's nothing for me to feel any sort of way. So I'm right, going to well, speak my on. truth. We're we going to do this and we're going to dead it here. Cause we're not gonna get this. Oh, it's dead it after this. It's okay. dead it after this. He wanted me to glorify on that. Oh, that's it's dead it after this. Cause I'm on his ass. He got me. Yes, I'm on his ass. So, Mr. Humblehood, you decided to say that you was invited to the podcast. Which, yes, as a matter of fact, every motherfucker that was on that show was uh, invited to this podcast, and most of them have actually already been on here. But here's the screenshots. Anybody that's ever been on this show knows the first thing that says, have you ever been on a podcast? You said, nah, I haven't, but I would like to. I'm an artist. I said, cool. I'd like to invite you to an interview on the 25th at 8 p.m. Uh, and just to clear something up, kind of you remember when your first show was? <sighs> Damn. No. Okay, well, if you don't, I do. Your first show was actually on January 21st. Okay. 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 So in January on the twenty fifth, that a boys club. January twenty fifth. Oh, that's a ladies' night. That night would have worked no fucking way. Get your shit. So it would have had to have been the twenty sixth, which would have been a boys' club. <coughs> um, and then on Wednesday nights we do the conversation. So it could have been the twenty fourth even. And then I said. Uh, well, let's go back to the screenshots. He said, no, nah, he wouldn't. He, he'd like to because he's been there. I said, cool, I'd like to invite you to an interview on the 25th at 8 p.m. Um, What state are you out of? I told him I'm in Arizona. He said, okay, yeah, bro, send the details. So I sent this. At this time, Connie had not had a show. February mm. 1st, <coughs> when this went out, because even the first show, which was the 21st, she was not in the city. Mm. I actually ended up doing that show, the first version of Let's Talk About It by myself because I interviewed a porn star. Because that was supposed to be her little, her little breakout show. And I said, me and my co-host, it's an interview about you and what you do. I just need to pick for the flyer. It's a done deal. We are a live show that streams on six platforms. He said, is Connie your co-host? I said, she will be. She's been a guest in the past. Mm. He said, anyway, I can do my own interview. Me and her was on a dating show. Just rather do my own thing. I said, ah, shit, not a good interaction. I said, if not, I can do it. I, I cannot have her on for that show. He said, it was good. She cool. I'm looking to work in my own man. So I want to talk about my branded business. I said, that's all we would do anyway. And literally sent him a video of a podcast of us actually interviewing a music artist. <clears throat> I said, this is how other artists have gone. I was an artist signed to Sony myself. Uh, I look to create a place where all artists have a voice and can take, uh, you can talk your shit and promo the hell out of yourself and your brand, etc. So being a nigga, I am at what point in time did Connie actually invite you to be on her podcast? And at what point in time was anybody looking for clout? Cause I can tell you this. If you was going to get some clout, that wasn't going to be, it's not going to be from her. And I've told her, and I, I'm going to say the same thing to her that I've even, I'm going to say the same thing to you that I said to her. The fact that anyone is throwing the term clout out in this situation is absolutely ridiculous and stupid. Y'all went on a motherfucking dating show. If anything, what y'all was supposed to do is come together and, and maybe create something. Clearly that shit didn't work out. You, sir, are a failure as a man, will fail you to communicate, failure to create a safe space for a female. You failed on many, many ways. And I don't care whether you like to hear that or not. Two, you can't glean clout off of somebody that prior to this podcast, I mean, what, you was, you was doing your modeling thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you world renowned? You said I'm a what? Are you world renowned? <laughs> Are you a household name? Fuck 
fuck no. Okay. So, nigga, guess what? <laughs> you can't get clout out for her, and then <laughs> I already closed Instagram, but I can pull your shit up. She definitely ain't going to get no name off of you. So, the fact that clout is being thrown out here is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous uh, because that's not going to happen. Now, also, trying to create what is called a... What'd you say? An internet relationship? Online relationship? Social media relationship. A social media social media. But who is he to create a social media relationship? He wanted, like, that's the he whole point. That's that what I'm because saying. he wanted to gain some clout. Well, God. And the whole thing about it is <coughs> nobody is ain't nobody famous on that motherfucking show. I mean, not the people who are going on there. And that's why it's not even a real... There's no real reason to even keep talking about this shit. Right. Because it's nobody's talking about nobody. Right. <laughs> so, and the whole thing about it is... That nigga came out there with that motherfucking briefcase and we needed to... With that. nothing <laughs> in it. What is in the briefcase? What's no money. Briefcase, no nothing. Man. Like... It's like you just picked that bitch up from Goodwill what like Adana shit said, and go with the outfit. Adana said, Adana said, do you have policies in there? Do you like, have policies and procedures of policies? how to fuck with you? Like you okay. weird. Next question. So Next. This, this is literally your 15 minutes of fame, sir. Uh, d Butter said, hey, Connie. Uh, he also said, I got to get ready for my podcast, bro. Damn. I'm sorry. But what's up, D? Uh, yeah, your ass going to be on here ASAP, too. Tania said it sounds messy. Yes. It, honestly, in all reality, this sounds like some high school bullshit. Yeah. Um, this is another reason, because I've been invited to go to that show I don't know how many times, and me personally, I'm just not going to do it. Because I don't entertain bullshit, and mm-hmm. I do. I think the the whole thing about that show is is that the viewers aren't getting the vibes that we're getting when we're in person. It's a totally different vibe than it is as it's shown on camera. You can <coughs> you can feel and hear and you know what I mean? You can actually just tell what a motherfucker on when you in person with them. So it's like, I pop my balloon for every nigga except for that, what, who, Bo? But that nigga wanted to pop my balloon, so I popped it for him. <laughs> or no, nah, I just let him pop it because, you know. It is what it is. But Kim Marie said, Connie, I'm a big fan. Oh, my God. I love you. Who? I don't know. So you got a fan. I got love you, too. It's a whole lot of fans. But, yeah, like. <laughs> no more about damn, tight jeans. That, next. Okay. Next. The Pop Balloon <laughs> Show was what it was, what it is, what it's going to be. And it was definitely fun because I yeah. definitely met y'all. Have a everybody, everybody is gaining yeah, followers off that shit. Ass. Everybody gaining something. You know what I <laughs> mean? Whatever you gaining off of it, it's up to you if you going to make it pop or make it stop. That part. Okay, so I got a question for y'all. Since since I was a viewer, a somewhat viewer, because I still have not watched the whole episode of any of that. And and the reason, there's a reason for that. Okay, so like you said, we as viewers don't get the vibe that y'all get. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times I see a lot of niggas walk out and y'all get the... <laughs> 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 that shit be... Oh, shit, wrong thing. <laughs> that's exactly what it be. But you know what is what's that's 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 our first appearance and look exactly. So I, my my thing is like y'all y'all don't like give a nigga like a real check. Like as soon as y'all see him, what makes y'all just pop the balloon so goddamn fast? They ugly. Shit. I, I ain't gonna lie. Shit. The people don't... the people on our on our <laughs> episode was trash. Okay. And you know what? I'm I'm not gonna say they was they I'm not gonna say they was trash. I take that back. I take that back. They just wasn't my type. They might have been a type to somebody else, but they just wasn't mine. What is your type? You know what? I really can't tell. Well, I'm of course I like me as a tall, dark skinned and handsome. You know what I mean? But at the end of every day, I want somebody to be able to make me laugh. I want somebody to be able to make me feel comfortable. I want somebody to be able to just make me let my guard down and make me feel at ease. If I don't feel like that, then next, we, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> have you been on the show, Talia? No, and not going. She, Ever. she, she Never. was there. She was in the crowd when I went. <laughs> okay. Well, she says you was in the crowd. You was a spectator. Mm-hmm. What was your What was your uh, take on the show <laughs> when you was there? 
Especially seeing the niggas, because you probably saw the niggas in the green room. You was probably in there with she them. She right? saw the niggas before we saw the niggas. Okay. Yeah, like, you know. So, how, what nigga would you have not have popped the balloon on? All of them. You would have popped it for every last one? All of them. Everyone. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the simple fact of, like, appearance is everything. Um, mm-hmm. Like, you can't come in there. Looking like you just rolled out of bed, you was rushing to get here. Um, but they do say don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, but it's you can't like, judge a book by its cover because I ain't gonna lie. But it's like, damn, you ain't even have a thought. A th- you ain't even think like what you was gonna wear, how you was gonna look, and then and it, it it was some people that did put the effort, but then it was like, but then y'all was but they was not at, attractive. Yeah, but did then, any niggas even have on any cologne? We, you know <laughs> what? You want to know something? My nose did not rise <laughs> up. <laughs> they had on axe. <laughs> My nose did not rise up. I will say that. My nose did not rise up. <laughs> okay, so that means that that means either no or they was wearing some bullshit. But I think it for also, real, I think the dudes in Arizona, whether you're from here or been here, live here, they're weird. Fuck yeah, you, nigga. I've been getting a lot of that. I get a list. Of Fuck you. you I'm quick to send no, dick I, I, I'm going to say like, right. I'm gonna say well, like a good 85%. It's a real small percentage of real niggas out here, for real. And they got to come big. from like where you come from, your city. You got to bring them out here. Like, but this, so this is a melting pot. Like, no one is from here. Like, right. I'm not from here. Right. She ain't from here. You ain't from here. Right. She ain't from here. But right. it's like when you've been here so long, you adapt to. No, how, you don't. Because no, this is the thing. Because I was about to say, bitch, I didn't. Not been here. the women, but the dudes. The dudes no, here the, are weak, weird, and just. Ugh. Okay, I think so the, I think the niggas because why did that nigga bring a briefcase back to that? <laughs> You're not here for a job interview. But hold on, yeah, sorry, I want is you this to your think, purse? But you, think about this. That's a nigga <laughs> that literally had supposedly just came here from Chicago. So yeah. is that what they do no, in Chicago? He said he had, exactly. he said he had a, his, his, his he, had, he said he had his own shit out here though. Yeah, he, he was here taking care of. He said uh, he had his own shit. Big Ma. Oh, but then I forgot my bad after the show. But he did. did he, he did. did stop being he petty, Connie. Stop no, being petty. Yeah, I was just I, about to say he did you say know, that he had just moved from Chicago though. And he also said that he did have his own space out here. And then he did no, no, say... No, 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 He did his. not actually say he had his own space. He just said well, he had his own shit. But here's the thing. That's the, biggest, the same thing. That's the same thing. No, because, see, niggas... <laughs> oh, is the space like a card niggas, box type niggas, of space? Niggas will say shit that eludes to other shit, but it's not like what it really is. Okay, so that's fucking lying. Ain't that ain't that ain't keeping it real? Connie, fuck? Connie asked him straight up, did he have his own shit? He said, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that's did off, he have but hold his on, own but that's, shit? That's he off camera. I, I'll give it to you. That's off camera, because on camera, they just asked him if he had like his own shit, which technically he do. It's just not here. No, but, but I, I asked him if he was here, though. But, okay. my, okay. my, my, big, my big thing about it is, but, but as... As a nigga, as a real provider, sitting here talking about some I'm a provider and provide you. Usually when a nigga has to say that, you're not. Right. That's just like a nigga with a couple dollars keep showing it. Like you you ain't ain't got got no money for real. For for you to be able to do real shit, you just do it. it. It's who you are. Okay, you don't have to 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 put on a well, you ain't got to fucking carry around an empty ass briefcase and do all those stupid. That was his carry on luggage, <laughs> man. So I was thinking, you know, when I had got home, like maybe he has some <laughs> weed in there because he said that he worked at the the, the dispensary. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, like maybe he has some weed in there and he wanted to, you know, sell it. Baby, so, that was his personal item on. Tania said, Bailey, why don't you cast a dating show? Because I'm not gonna lie. The females out here are fucking weird. And a <laughs> lot of the niggas out <laughs> here are fucking weird. See? But, but, yeah, you really have to cycle through a lot of motherfuckers to get to some real money. And I'm not just going to put anybody to. My life is peaceful. 
And I already, you, you see how this shit turned out. This was what, the first episode, the second the episode? The first of this episode. Shit? Okay. But you know what though? It's you see so crazy. How this shit turned out. I'm not no, that was just, that wasn't the first episode. It was a couple of episodes. It was like two episodes. Oh, oh no, no, no. I it think was... ours was the third episode. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm tripping. No, I'm not that. But hold on, Shavada. Shavada like... said, "Don't do Chicago." I don't know where they got him from. Shit. <laughs> <Okay>. Yo, <laughs> but why I keep hearing that from Chicago people though? That which is kind of funny to me because somebody else said that. Um, that he was like. That nigga is from the somebody suburbs. Like he ain't from nobody Chicago. That's mm. why I was like, shit. I don't true. know. Like I, I got family know. in Chicago. I got people in Chicago. And I, I know, know plenty of niggas from Chicago, Chicago yeah. and outside of Chicago. And he did not act Chicago to me. Just gonna be honest. So who knows? Shit. You know, people got their next story. question. Here's my <laughs> ghetto story. Everybody got a ghetto story. <laughs> Don't let me play some right All right, so 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 here, what has dating been like for y'all since since y'all been in Arizona? Shit, I ain't been dating in Arizona. I've been in, I've been out of town with it. Oh, you got you got dick on you got dick on the interstate. Out of town, out of town. You got now. interstate dick. It's like no, I ain't gonna say that. I, I'm I'm a real single woman, but I will say that the last nigga that I was talking to, he was out of state. I just made a post about that shit saying. Nobody, nobody go harder, you feel me, for somebody than a motherfucker that's out of state. But do you know why? Because you don't be around them every day. Exactly. They mm-hmm. always want, and they want, they want to lock you down and feel, like, that's a status thing. Oh, I locked her down from Texas. I don't know, though. <laughs> I don't know, though. It's a little iffy from because. From Texas is crazy. Niggas don't be, <laughs> niggas, they be scared, too. They be scared because you out of town. They think you doing some shit because you out of town. They think you sneaking around because you but out see, of town. That, but a lot of females I'm out are. of town. Thug it with my round. <laughs> Thank you. Round. <laughs> <laughs> they, they listen to that shit. They know what y'all be on. Okay. Get it sexy. Okay. But see, here's the difference. The difference is, as a man, ain't nobody flying, flying me out. Right. right. I'm you want to get flew out? I'm going to fly right. somebody in. Right. So... If you are attractive and he's fucking with you, we understand. If I came at you, I know other niggas is like we live in reality. I know other niggas is coming at you, and I know other niggas will fly your ass out. And most cases, you know, you ain't finna turn down no free trip. Hell no. Nah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna see that trip I'm, though. That shit, I mean, it comes I mean, with if attachments it, if, though. If it's a real nigga. But I you mean, ain't gonna if know he's real. If you gotta go see to find out if he's even real. And you though. do. And sometimes you might look up to the point where that nigga might lay the motherfucking red carpet out for your ass, and you ain't got no choice but to throw it back. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm just saying. See? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> now, so, so now if the shit corny, then you gonna be on some shit like, you know what? I think I just need to go get me a room. I don't wanna stay here with you. You feel what I'm saying? And then I want to next flight out. You feel me? Okay, right. so I got a question. If a nigga fly you out, is that is that an automatic? You got to throw that ass. I no. was about no. to ask that. No. Shit. Why, no, why is that? Why? No. Do, I mean, listen. But I I feel like honestly though, that needs to be addressed. That's an be addressed. That's just, be addressed. Do, do. That's just like a nigga buying because, you some food. Yeah, and he just think yeah. Uh, yeah it's an invest. So okay, so I'm gonna tell you how the, the the man's thought process. Okay, please. First and foremost, see we we put way more into this. Because as a man, did it not take our time for us to earn the fucking money that we about to spend on you? Okay. okay. Then we have to take our time to actually woo you, schmooze you, get you to even agree to do some shit that you know on a regular basis your ass ain't going to do. Then when you get here, I got to be in my flyest fit. I got to be on my A1 game. I probably had to get a room because most niggas live like like straight garbage. Okay. Uh and then he got to get his hair cut and all this other shit. And then he got to take you out when you get there. So it's not a cheap trip. It's okay. not just a... See, for you, you get to just fly out. You get to relax. You, you got to get, get your shit. nails done, your hair, hair did, done. New outfits. But you know you what? do that anyway. Lashes did. Don't introduce me to a vibe that you cannot upkeep. Maintain. If that is not you... Then don't don't go don't I mean I no, no, no. I, I so, appreciate so no, but, but, I, don't, I don't think that's what it is. That's, it's, that's it's, changing it's too that's, much. Change, that's changing the goalposts again. As a man, we feel like we are investing in some shit. And when a nigga invests in some shit, especially a female, 
Like, you got to get something because your time, your attention and shit, for most niggas, is not enough. Especially when you're from out of town. I personally, <coughs> I ain't never flying. I'm going to tell you right now. I ain't flying near one of you fucking females out. <laughs> that ain't never going to happen. Never, ever, ever. You ain't going to invest in that? That's an investment. Here's the thing. That's the investment you were just talking about. You know how many about. motherfucking investments is in this goddamn city of five million people? I can find an investment on Not the other side. Not five million this. people. <laughs> I will take my ass out. You heard it. I will drive to the other side of this motherfucking city before the, I the, fly a motherfucker out. The whole thing is you can't force a vibe that's not there. True. So you y'all might be on the phone. Everything might be cool on the phone. Y'all done talked about linking up. Now she get out there. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all kicking it, but the vibe not by, might not be what it was when y'all was on the phone. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, so this so, is do you think do you think that do you think that women should allow themselves to be flown out instead of just doing it themselves? That way you have more control and less less expectation. I'm gonna have I will control say, over the situation regardless. True, but I will say, okay, to 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 give y'all some comfortability then maybe you feel what I'm saying? I will, you know, women can probably come with their own flight. You feel what I'm saying? Have their own setup so y'all can get to know each other for real. Too many motherfucking reels, videos, whatever you want to call it, social media. Either she getting left at the airport because she making clear that she ain't giving up no cookies. She should have and, and that's her, her fault. Exactly. You she can't be a broke bitch clear. going out of town with a random nigga uh, and not have your setup to where if you don't like that nigga and you want to get away, you need to be able to pay for your own shit. Mm-hmm. And you need to be able to pay for yourself to get back <laughs> when you realize that the vibe is not there. But you do. You can't realize, go out of town broke. You, you can't do, do. You do realize that's not the majority of females. It's yeah. not. But I mean, you, hey, they be having go fun for bitches. Yeah, a that's lot every of bitches be getting stuck. Okay, you having a GoFundMe account. I'm positive accounts. y'all see it on motherfucking uh, it, uh, on every social media platform. Women really be out here panhandling with their motherfucking cash <laughs> and that's broke ass <laughs> bitches for you. That's broke hoes. Stop y'all fucking with them broke ass head. hoes. Stop just because that bitch cute. She bro, don't don't listen. She is bro. Don't fall into the trap of these cute ass bitches all the time. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Right. You don't want to be the bitches I'm with the saying. biggest bitches booty, be bro. Cute face, don't. lace front leg. Okay, the newest outfit from Fashion Nova. Okay, but she sleep on and a goddamn bitch ain't got a dollar in her bank account. She sleep on a damn mattress. She spent her last you dime to come see, to see a nigga. Her and she stuck. And her kids at home eating noodles. Her bitch, roommates you're broke. Is and Takis. Her roommates and is And her roaches. bed is on the floor. An air mattress. Air mattress. Uh, <laughs> shit, it's a bed. Uh, With air. On the floor. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, a, it was a water the bed, floor. but the water... On the <laughs> it was a water bed to begin with, <laughs> and now that bitch just flat with covers. <laughs> bitch, you broke. No, nah, for real. Bitches got to stop doing that. I ain't going to lie. Like, and bitches... Di- Bitches becoming scumbag. And bitches niggas becoming, do too. Bitches becoming scumbag. And niggas, niggas do, do too. too. But bitches do becoming scumbag. Okay, yeah. so I got a question for y'all then. Specifically you two. Because Connie didn't been here. She, know, she already know her. <sighs> do you think that the issue with dating today is more of the men or is it the women? Since, at the end of the day, men, we are the predators and y'all are the prey right so at the end of the day in order for us to be able to get you we have to basically do the shit that y'all like and some of the shit that y'all say a lot of them say they like uh is the reason that niggas act the way they do but then you take females such as y'all self who's like niggas ain't shit and these bitches ain't shit but there's more bum bitches out here that's even turning good niggas into bum niggas because they go for anything. Who do you think... How do you think we, we fix or change the situation? Do you think it's more on the female or do you think it's more on the man? I ain't gonna lie. I don't think, I don't think that's think the issue. 50-50. What's the issue? I don't think that's the issue. What's the issue? I think everybody just... Everybody want to be taken care of. I think niggas want to be taken care of. Nah. Mm-hmm. And I think bitches want bitches been one to been taken care of. We that's our nature. We want to be taken care of, but now the niggas want to be taken care of too. So now we too 
one of them took care of motherfuckers. <laughs> and now we just sitting up here. It's battle of who can go take care of who. All right. Well, then, okay. Well, then I'll, I can I can agree with that shit all the way around the board. For real. Okay. Now, so for the niggas that want to be taken care of, we already know where that came from. I think we can all agree. Single mamas raising uh, they sons to be they husbands and not somebody else's husband. Mm, no, no, I, I won't say that because I'm a single mom, and my even though my son is only four, I'm definitely not. I'm I'm very independent, but I'm definitely I don't. Have you ever called your son a king or a prince? No, okay. I haven't. So so you've already doing something that most other females is not it, it, that do all the fucking time. I haven't. They but, dress these niggas like grown ass men. I'm talking about three year olds, four year olds, five year olds, yeah. already sagging, got a chain around their neck, and teaching he needs to open my door. It's not he needs to open door for all women. He needs to open door for me. Oh, he yeah. needs to take my trash out. He needs to do this for me, 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 me. They're literally raising the husband they want and their son. Now, these are the same niggas that's getting out here that y'all are calling weird. I mean, but I can I, see that, but... I think I as a man, like... As life go on, you grow, right? But how can a man know how to be a man if he's never had a man around? Then that daddy mm. needs to uh, stay around and quit fucking being so quick to stick their dick in anything I and nut up in I, anything. But at the same time, these females got to start having more uh, standards, too, for themselves. Yeah, I was just about to say. At the same it. time, I was it's just, just like... Say. I mean, shit, y'all both held accountable. But it's like, you know, it does, that access does start with that female. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like. He doesn't get the choice of who has the baby. He can put the baby there. But if she didn't want to have a kid, she has a lot more control. She got more. She could control the narrative too. Because she she can control the narrative whether she wanted to have a kid or not. I got a question question for you, Haley. Yeah. Um,. Did you leave your baby daddy? Did your baby daddy leave you? I left my baby daddy. Okay. Why? Because that nigga was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Flat out. Okay. Now, I can't get How all How long was him. y'all together? We was together for like five years, four and a half, five years. How long did it take to get your ass pregnant? Um, It took me a minute to get pregnant. I, got, I was fucking with my baby daddy in what, like 2014, 2015? And well, I want to say 2015. I got pregnant in 2019. Okay, so you was with him for for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Now I got my question to you is: <clears throat> Do you think it was? Do you think it would have been smarter to get married before you had a kid? To know whether or not he was gonna be there long term and do what he was supposed to do? Hell no! I ain't gonna lie. The only so was he marriage material? Mm. I thought we was gonna get married. I, we were together for a very long time to the point where you know we was talking marriage with each other. Okay, so that the, so this is what I'm trying to figure something out. So, at what point in time did you find out that he was crazy? Then? When I found out he was crazy, the nigga started doing crazy ass shit. Like trying before to, or after the child? Before, right before the child. Actually, I'm not even gonna lie. It was mm. right before the child. I end up getting pregnant, and then I end up staying. Because I, as any woman thought, was go- thought the child was going to fix something, and it didn't. Mm. And it didn't. So, okay. so under- I understand that 100%, because mm-hmm. that happens quite often. Mm-hmm. So, because this is, this is what I say the solution to the situation is. See, back in the day, the reason our grandparents was together for so fucking long is, one, they didn't have access to the pussy unless you fucking married. If you didn't get, if you didn't marry me, you're not getting this pussy. You sure ain't getting no fucking kids coming out this pussy. I don't think so. I think they just ain't have the women just was dependent on a man. So that's not true. Why? Why is it? Because women been in the working force since 1960. This is 2024. That's 84 years. Them grandparents that got yeah, 10 kids, they, they was housewives. They, yeah, they, they, didn't they have still, their they own still was housewife. They still was housewife. But they, is, but hold on, is that a bad thing? It's not no, a bad not. thing if you have that provider. But if you have a man out here that's fucking hey. everybody and you know not being a man, not being a 100 percent provider. Um, not coming through when what you beat them. And let's speak. Let's speak. The biggest issue with is is it's is communication. It, no, it's insecurities. 
Mm. That's it's why. insecurities. When it comes to men, men have a lot of insecurities. Men, men are fighting demons that they have not what, took what care of. What insecurities do you think men are fighting? Okay, so childhood traumas for sure. Childhood That's traumas it. for sure. Okay, childhood traumas. But you know what? One thing on. that I hold, hold on. on, hold on, no, no, because no, this, this is what we don't do on no cap. We don't say stuff and then not not elaborate. Mm-hmm. So in order to say someone has childhood traumas, we need specific. Oh, I'm oh I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. definitely about to give some. So I was just about to say, like yet again, it. knowing that I grew up with all of my <laughs> brothers in the household, it's like from little kids they experience. I I'll give y'all that. Y'all boys, y'all are built differently. Y'all watch y'all friends get killed in front of y'all. Yep. Some of y'all yeah. y'all deal with the yep. most okay, traumatic so shit. I will, I will so say that, was, that shit pours over to where you feel like are some of these little some of these little boys they get molested by like their moms or I mean not, or like their aunts or just women and now they feel a certain way towards women and now those men some of those men want to either kill women or they it's just it fucks with them. So as that childhood trauma, as they get older, they carry on that hatred because they, uh, it'll be a woman that'll look like somebody that probably hurt them in a way. So they want to probably constantly do shit to that person because it gives them that satisfaction. Mm-hmm. So it's like, honestly, a lot of that shit, men, y- yes, y'all do. Y'all like y'all aren't as emotional as women. That is correct because y'all carry the weight of the world well, on y'all not, shoulders. It's not that we're not but emotional. We, the men we that are still healing, man, that shit... That, like the men who like even just watching a person die in front of you and you got to learn how to cope with that shit. Yeah. You can't cry or else you'll look weak. I, so, will, I will say that's a lot of the uh, a lot <coughs> of where the anger stemmed from in my baby daddy. Mm-hmm. And that was something that I even suggested going to um, therapy with my child's father. I was trying to be there for him really in every single way, but it was just something that I could not fix. It was Literally, it was something very, very dark that he, he was going through that he, I could not get him out of. Did he have any male friends? Mm. Like, like, no, mm. all, every single one of his childhood male friends got killed. Okay, so mm. this is where this is where yes, there's a, there's a lot of dudes out here dealing with with childhood trauma, and this is where I tell guys, ain't nothing wrong with finding a mentor, finding a man <clears throat> that you can actually talk to because that's what we do it has been proven therapy does not per se work for men and the reason therapy doesn't work is because talking it like women can talk y'all love to talk about y'all's problems because that's how y'all deal with things because we're not set up that way us talking about it is totally different that's where you just need someone that you can go to that can guide you to to take your that Anger, because that's what it is. It Anger. literally show you y'all need and somebody put really that show y'all into something else that is more yep. positive. Mm-hmm. Everything I I grew up. Most of my friends are also dead or and or in prison for the rest of their life. I have a handful of people that actually are out here in these streets with me today. So I understand that aspect, and it does it does create an an anger. Uh, and a tenacity inside of a man that is that is can become very traumatic. I also will say too that I also think that because of the fact that they can't cope with that, then they start to think less of themselves. Mm-hmm. But it's not so, that they can't cope with it; they don't know. They don't know how because they don't have a male role model to teach them how to cope with these things. Right? So because now, if he goes. Like if I would have went to my mom with a lot of the shit that I went through, and my mom was my best friend, and I could talk to her about anything. Actually, I talked to her about a lot of shit. But there are things that I was going through and feelings that I was having that she, never, never could she deal with because she's never been through it. Like being pulled over six out of seven days out of the fucking week, being arrested, having your car towed, and then as soon as you, it, it, like it's gone, like they tow your shit. And it is a book and release, a book and release, no charges. Book and release, book and release, just towing my car all the fucking time. Shit like that. How do you explain that to a woman where, like, y'all don't get pulled over like that? They don't pull a gun out on you and put you flat on your face. You and your, I'm in my finest, all white fit, and I'm in the middle of the street laid on my stomach with my hands behind my back for no fucking reason. Yeah. So it's it's a different, it's a different lifestyle that's that's lived. The bad part is because you are a man's peace 
sometimes that shit, there's triggers. And I think that men need to understand their triggers, but women also got to look at the men that they're dating and, and, and re, be able to read some of those triggers too so that you don't feed into it. If that makes sense. I don't know. The black woman is so, <laughs> listen, cause the black woman gotta put up with so much shit, bro. It's ridiculous. Like, I just feel like I feel like black men literally want us to heal them from everything, and we can't. We but we just I, like I y'all got trauma. We, we got trauma too. Everything right. that go right in our life, we got childhood shit going on too. And women be dealing with the some of the craziest shit. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm See, saying? I, here, here's my here's my thing. As a black man that deals with black women on a regular basis, okay, my entire life, either black or Latino, which Latinos is fucking black, whether y'all want to admit to it or not. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Look at their history. Them niggas come from Africa. Africans was the first people to leave the U.S. Fucking, uh, if you look at all, they're Mayans. Mayans are, are literally Nigerians. Uh, same, yeah. Er, er, most of these ethnicities, that's why they have melanin in their fucking skin, because the white man called himself trying to dirty up some shit, but it didn't work out that way. When you look at the world we live in, even today, they're constantly trying to sell us on the black man needs to be this exorbitantly strong man, and the black woman needs to be a strong black woman, right? How come they don't sell that to other nationalities? Cause they ain't got it. Ain't she hard for they ass? Say it again. Shit, ain't she hard? But mm. so again, for real. Why? I mean, I'm not gonna say ain't she hard. You know what? I take that back. Yeah. Cause I, I I can say that for the most part. Now on the outside looking in, cause I'm from the hood. I'm from 108th and Dinker. Okay. Where is that? Inglewood, California. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I say on the outside looking in because I'm no longer in the hood. Mm-hmm. But I look at the shit that I went through all the way until I went to prison. But you know what I realized? Trying to stand up to the stereotype of, you know, because a real nigga got to be a real nigga and I'm finna show these niggas I'm real because I'm finna go shoot them, rob them, do all this dumb shit mm-hmm. because I got to be a strong black man. But was I really being a strong black man or was I just buying into the rhetoric that they told us and then doing the stupid shit because that's what they tell us we're supposed to fucking do, which isn't actually real. Because now on the outside looking in, I look back and I'm going, what the fuck was I even doing that for? And where did that message come from? Because the message technically wasn't coming from the people that I was in the hood with. It was like it was coming from outside of the hood because when we leave the hood, when we went to the beach, we got to be real niggas. We got to be hood niggas. We just got to be niggas. I ain't going to lie. That shit started when they started putting that shit on TV. Mm, Entertainment. Because because back in slavery, niggas weren't killing niggas. Thank you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, niggas was not killing niggas. And until the 60s. Black men and black women married at the rate of 92%. Black men didn't date nothing but black women, and black women didn't do nothing but date black men. So at the same time that the nuclear family fell apart, welfare came into play, and a couple of other bullshit-ass things is when the black household fell apart, and literally they started selling strong black women, Independent, uh-huh. strong black man. Uh huh. So is it really? No, nah, that shit. That shit started when they gave women, women the right to vote. Women the right <laughs> to vote. That's when, when women that got started. the right to do yeah. what they wanted to do. Everything changed. Yeah, true. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Shit, it's a good thing. For it's me. a good thing. I, for I like me. my independence. But what are you I, independent of? Because you, I think, think about what you just said. You like your independence, but the only thing that you became independent of. Is a black man. True. I mean, but I, I like the fact that I'm able to do things in my on my own. I, I'm not dependent on nobody, though. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like women get so comfortable with having to depend on men and depend on, mm. 
You know what I mean? Somebody on, else isn't that, do something for them. Isn't it my role to be your safety, your security, and your provision so it you is. do depend on me? But all the so men, all, every man is not doing that. But Emma, is it not my job to shield you from bullshit? It is, but okay, every but hold man on, hold is on, not on. doing no, that. But, but it's here, your job to shield me from bullshit and not bring on. bullshit upon me. Thank you. So if that is my job, but women are choosing to be independent more... How can a man do his job if a woman does not allow him? Shit, if niggas wasn't bringing that bullshit in the crib. Well, okay, but let's like go that. back. Like, think about this. The you said it. The more independence, or the the what they sold is to be independence. Because I don't. The fact that y'all get to work and make the same amount of money as a man and do. Do y'all niggas really enjoy working? No, I hell hate working. No. No. Okay, so I is that my really job? Like, hell no. <laughs> so is that really no. independence? No, Are they just that, with, that's doing what I gotta do. That's what that's called. Okay, so this <laughs> <laughs> this is where I make shit make sense as a whole. What they call independence was actually putting women into the workforce to do the exact same thing to be equal to a man. Basically, you get to earn money and go out and vote and do all these dumb things, which at the end of the day, whether y'all know it or not, if you actually look at history, the things they say y'all were able to do, you actually was really already able to do because women chose not to vote. They were OK with allowing their husbands, uh, fathers, etc. vote. Because they were not interested in politics. Two, they liked the fact that they... See, we had World War I, Vietnam War, World War II. That's when women were forced to go into the workplace and they did not want to be there. But then you had these handful of females like, no, we all want to stay here. We want to do this. We want to do that. And you had all these married women like, shut the fuck up. Bitch. You fucking up my life. No, that's not what I mean. <laughs> All right, you know what they should have did? They should have just let us vote on women shit. All that other shit they could have left up to y'all. To be honest, I don't even be. Well, un- unfortunately, they can't do that because then that's actually what you would be calling sexist or sexism. True, yeah. For the bitches who is well, why can't I? Well, why can't I? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> because if you if you never took the man out of the home, if and this is what happened. See, when you take a man out of his natural design position, which is the head of household, and you split it in half and go, okay, so now you can go make money, and then now you can go make money, and then y'all can do this together, right? What you actually did is you also split up the home because now, whether we like it or not, is money power? Mm -hmm. Money is power. Okay, so do y'all like power? I like money. I like Thank money. You. Women love money because it comes with power. And y'all are emotional creatures and y'all are not used to actually having power. So when you get it, and we all know this, today you woke up, it may have been a good day. Your hormones was acting right. You're not cramping. There's no craziness going on. Uh, you had chocolate last night. Everything is good. But when you wake up tomorrow, <sighs> Fuck the world. My hormones is fucked up. I didn't get enough sleep. I ate too much chocolate. I'm bloated because I had a sandwich when uh, two hours before I went to sleep and the shit's fucked up and the kids woke me up at three o'clock in the morning. Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. So because you're because you're because y'all are super emotional like that. Right. Every day for y'all is different. But yeah, what you definitely. realize rather mm-hmm. quickly is but that power's still there. Oh, shit, I need some more of this. I need some more. More, 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 more. Now you become power hungry for something that isn't there, which means you're hyper focused on something that isn't, at the end of the day, going to make you truly happy. Because as of right now, Haley, Connie, mm-hmm. what y'all are going to realize is like when you're 60, 70 years old and you got grandkids, you get to look at your grandkids and be like, okay, I made that. That is going to give you far more. Dr- How y'all think Oprah feel right now in life? <laughs> Tired of taking care of Stedman? <laughs> no, I'm just, that. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm about to say, you know Stedman was, was taking care of her first. Yes, I know. I know. 
This That's, nigga was a billionaire long before she was. <laughs> right? Is she ever going to be able to look at anything that she created? No, she ain't got no kids, huh? She ain't got... Do she got kids? She ain't got no she kids. Ain't got she ain't got no, got no kids. kids. She put all... She put kids... She ain't even married. What? Stop. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Because I don't got no kids. So Bitch, what are you trying to you say? You gonna have some kids? Yeah, stop acting like somebody you ain't gonna knock kids. your ass, your ass up. Is young too. And not, uh, girl, if, please. If you was forty three, talking about I ain't got no well, kids, I'm there might be me. we might have some problems. <laughs> then I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> but you know where they. If you don't have no kids, no, nah, you gonna have. Some Shavana kids. says she said a mouthful, a lot to deal with, mother mother issues, childhood trauma. Yeah, we covered that. Ken said, Lord, uh, what's the topic today? You know, I'm here for all the toxicity. Laugh out loud. Uh, we burning bras tonight. See no evil, hear no evil, say no evil on the couch. Period. Pooh. Who said what? <laughs> <laughs> what you focused on over there? I'm just laughing because you know what? Them motherfucking people on that damn pop balloon show, them fucking viewers, they, you know they were saying my teeth was brown. Brown? Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to zoom in on your teeth for I'm your just shit? Like, you <laughs> yeah. feel me? Yeah. You so <laughs> They wanted to hate me so bad. You so funny because <laughs> you didn't hear me doing that in the beginning. And you, I was one of y'all was talking. I was like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that, that's that let them nigga know. All right. So, so for, for I'm going to ask one of the questions that I usually ask tonight. Haley. Yes. Name one thing that man could do better to make dating and relationships better, and then name one thing a woman could do better that makes dating and relationships better. Um, for men, I would probably say put put the pride to the side, okay, and and, and let yourself feel something. Uh, so you want a humble nigga? <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> let's not use that term no more. I want to. I want to. I want a nigga that. Like to feel his feelings every once in a while. Okay, you, you know again, you do understand what comes with an emotional man. I said every once in a while because I even do. if it's every once in a while, every one. I mean, every blue moon. I, I just, mean, I just literally, once a year. Once I just a year. literally had a conversation with a female like two months ago who told me how she got this tall, handsome man. He in the service. He's all in touch with his feelings. And I said, he oh, gonna, he's a baby back. I bitch. said, he gonna beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna put his he hands is on a you. Bitch. Niggas be and so. And guess sensitive. what? She moved out four or five days ago. Why? She was out. She was having a conversation with a guy that she already knew. I guess he said it's time to go. She didn't hear him. Got in the car. And it turned to fisticuffs. I mean, but can we be logical here? Like, God damn. Niggas know, like, what's, what's right and what's wrong. Men, like, men do, but you have to understand. The only... You have a son, right? Yeah. When your son gets angry, what does he do? See, he be tripping. Thank you. He hits, he swings, he throws stuff, right? He do. He throw a little tantrum. We have testosterone. So... When we feel anything, the bang thing we feel is anger. We become the Incredible Hulk. Which is why I need to learn how to channel it. Communicate. That that's what we learn trauma. from other Y'all men in sports. That that's, that's why when we fall, they say walk it off and all this other... We do learn how to channel it. We just don't channel it the way. See, y'all want us to talk. Y'all don't it know out. how to yeah, channel it. Yeah, because you can. You can't talk about it, bro. Like you, it's, you it's don't. Y'all see red. Wrong. We're talking about what's wrong with you. Y'all don't. I, I tell my son. I, I talk to my son when my son is that. What's like? What's truly wrong? But that again, because that whatever's wrong can be fixed. Do you know y'all way of solving problems is punching holes in walls? Thank you. Do you guys not understand X X Y chromosomes, mask, uh, testosterone, and estrogen? Y'all need to hit some shit. Thank you. we only y'all need know. to be. We don't more towards feel boxing emotions like y'all feel instead emotions. Of gangs. We so only you, feel anger. And so you ask me. What could be changed in the male world? And I just told you. said you. put pride to the side, but you also said you want to be a little bit more emotional. I'm just letting you know. Just, I'm, <laughs> if you're going to be more emotional, expect a 
humble situation. I'm saying it's limits to everything now. Right, because if you come get the on. punching and shit, like, come like, on, don't you, play you, with your mama. You, but, yeah, okay, but you, hold on. You know why? You know why you, you I pray. use? You know why I used her son? Because he's four, and children are direct reflections of exactly what men and women are. If you look at children. They are direct reflections of just that. A little girl will cry and she's willing to talk. A little boy will just get angry and he's willing to fuck shit up. You don't have to teach them that. That is in our DNA. So what is it that y'all are willing to change? So so again, that's not something that we are willing to change because that's just our make. Like we can't change our DNA. But y'all want us to change everything. No, we don't. We don't ask you to change. That's the thing. You realize, like, as a man, we want sex, food, and silence. We don't care about nothing else. That's a lie. That is. That's what a else? lie. What Y'all want? want multiple sexes. What else That's want? a lie. Huh? You and want what? Multiple sexes? <laughs> multiple women. Yeah, multiple sex. No, okay. Having multiple. Submissiveness. Multi- Again, still. Yes. Sex, food, and silence. Guess what? In order to silence, that means you are a submissive woman. Uh, yes, we will fuck the entire world if you let us. But most niggas don't get that access, so you don't even have to worry about it. Let's be real. Honestly, society abuses the gender roles, and it affects. They definitely you. abuse the it's shit out of them today. It's just ridiculous because the men, like men these days, y'all is y'all so against femininity these days. Like y'all don't even really embrace the real natural woman. Y'all don't even know how to handle the real natural woman. But they want to carry same bags. time. So y'all want that wear, woman to submit. They want their nails it's, painted. It's, it's, but hold it's on, so hold on, much hold on, though. Now. Like, no, but here's the thing. If a man is asking for that, that lets you know he doesn't carry those qualities. Because if a man is a man, a woman's automatically going to fall in her role because of who he is. Ooh. And that's true. And that's true. And that's true. Because I will say... I done had a nigga that just been like everything laid out online. All I want to do is just do whatever the fuck he say. Okay. Thank you. Like that. That's Whew. like for so, real. Because I don't have no choice because he's doing everything right. Mm-hmm. And this is this is why I say like mm-hmm. women need to stop talking to men about shit and and actually see what he's really about. Like just pay attention. Spend time with a nigga. Shut the fuck up and pay yeah. attention to him. Yeah. And you gonna find out ten times more about him than what you would if you sat there. What are you looking for, babe? Okay, so what kind of man? Are you a provider? Yeah. Are you going to take yeah. care of me? Yeah. I, okay, I'm, are you going to dick me down? <laughs> it, for real. Because them type of questions, bro, are just stupid. Really, you trying to get answers to the motherfucking test. Yeah. And the nigga going to lie to you beat, every... You trying to beat... You trying to beat the whole process of getting to know somebody. Nigga, bro. this is Mario from 1988, and you want to beat all the stages, but you don't want to play the fucking game. But you don't want to play the game. But but look, some women do that, so we don't even got to go through the whole... Because y'all don't like to work for shit, but that's the thing. You don't have to work for the relationship. Well, you messing with the wrong... A man has like to, to approach you and come at you and hit all these different things. See, we have to do so much work for you even get your motherfucking attention. And then we got to get work to get you when we get your attention. So that's why I say at the end of the day, for the most part, to do work to keep my attention. We consistently are working for you. So sometimes instead of you trying to get the answers to the test, just shut the fuck up and do your job too, because you do have a job. Just start asking open ended questions. So tell me about yourself. No, (laughs) no. That's, that's why you get lied to. That's why you end up. No, with real if he's humble. telling me about himself. You're listening to him. He's gonna. Con- that's an open ended question, meaning it's gonna lead to well. <laughs> How'd that work I'm out 32. for you? Pop the balloon. I'm an Aries. How'd that oh, work out for Aries. you? Pop the balloon. I don't like it. Nope. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm an Aries. Stuff. No, I was just. It was giving oh. an example. I'm a Taurus. So I'm you know. just saying. <laughs> think about that. That's what they did on Pop the Aries, Balloon. Taurus. No, not. they asked specifics, like yeah. you just said. But you they know, were specific, that was, open-ended I'm questions. Giving him the te- I'm giving him the answers to the test. All I'm doing is asking open-ended questions. Because, baby, if he would have told me, okay, well, I did just move out here with my grandma and yada, yada. Okay, I respect that. But you know what, baby? You're not for me. I'm not for you, but I wish you well. Boom. Okay, so Ken, Ken said, <laughs> feel like, like we should get an SWV song going right now. LOL. Humble and emotional are two different dudes. Laugh out loud. Sounds like Chris and Riri. <laughs> What's a natural woman? Question marks. Checking boxes is the same as being judgmental. Accepting a person based on checking boxes 
isn't love and won't last. I definitely agree with that. I agree with that too. Damn, I didn't I agree with that too. Part. I ain't gonna lie. Down. The only way Ex- I would get to know a nigga on. is so if- she didn't hear that. Accepting a person based on checking boxes oh, uh-huh. isn't love and it will not last. It's not. Neither if they neither if they ugly, not, neither if they don't if their mindset is not fucking going like come on now. But again, like my- if I'm at hold on, but it's like if I'm asking you to tell me about yourself, those boxes are gonna get checked off. Why? Because if you tell me that you you know, it's certain things that you do and that I'm not okay with. Yes, that that's going to have to happen. Okay, Chihuahua, I'm going to break you. Okay? Break me then. Let because me know. I, I feel like just have a natural conversation with a motherfucker exactly. and stop trying to be so strategic with every fucking definitely. thing. Definitely. And definitely. the way that you get to know a motherfucker, you either going to know you like this motherfucker or you not. Exactly. Like, so, so with this one here. What? Yeah. What? Because you already know. You are asking the wrong questions and what? also... No, and also niggas lie. What? At what point in time will y'all feel a, f- understand that niggas lie? Niggas lie. Niggas lie. We, we know, know that. that. We know we that. Know we know that. that. Okay. We know what, that. We fucking like, know that. So what do you mean I'm asking the wrong questions? No, I'm asking the right questions. They're no, just you fucking be lying. Asking, you should not be asking any questions. You should be paying attention to his actions. So I'm just gonna look at him, looking at me. No, have a real conversation about exactly, something. Exactly. No, 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 no. It, a it, real it conversation that flow. has nothing to do with the relationship. Wait, Ask what? the nigga about his background. Who's your family? Where are you from? Doing this, not what kind of. Okay. I really don't, don't you like care. To watch on TV? What you like to watch on TV? No. Yes. No. What, what's your hobbies? You feel what I'm saying? That, and no, then, I and definitely then, get that, which is why I was saying, like, tell me about yourself. I like no, to go hiking. No. I like to bowl. That, I like to do this. You, I like to do that. Oh, okay. I like to do this too. Okay, Connie, but, stop being a basic bitch. Because that's a basic bitch question. I'm that's sorry. A conversation no, no, you you are, are, no, everybody asks that fucking question. That's a question. Dating, Tell me about yourself. This ain't a fucking <laughs> but I'm interview. Saying, though, it's like if you're asking open ended questions, questions, it's going to go with the flow. Que- yeah, like, it is. That's then, what I'm saying. Y'all going to start laughing about <laughs> shit. Y'all going to start comparing shit of what you like and what he like. You feel what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. It's called asking conversation. Like how much money you make? Where you stay, who exactly. you live with. Now that's when them, you're crossing them question because them is them is automatically things that will make you say no. You feel what I'm saying? No, no. So that's what, so men have two modes. We have recreational use and we have. Hold on, you got to take that back because I'm, no, I'm never. No, like no you basic are not. Bitch. I'm telling you, that's a basic bitch. And the reason that I say basic bitch question, you know, what's how, a basic bitch question? I said no. Tell let's, me let's, about but yourself. But that was me saying like remove I might that as well start asking basic. Uh, remove that might as well out of your start vocabulary. asking open ended questions like that. No. I'm not saying that's how I'm starting it off. I, I was oh, saying okay, okay, that's well, why we might okay. as well start Then I'll talking. take it back because if you utter those words, yes, that's basic bitch questions. And that, that could be a basic bitch question. Mm, but that shit, shit is asked so much, motherfucker. Like, my thing is like, can you ask a real question? Because that's so, that's not even open ended. That's just stupid. It's, it's too vague. It's too vague. Yes. But it's still nothing. open ended, though. But it's. Because it's not just a direct answer. It's not a direct yes or again, no. So it's open ended. Are, the, even as a even coming from a person who was one hundred percent had been a part of corporate America for a very long time, as an interviewer, we automatically know not even ask that question because it doesn't lead to anything. Because the follow up question is always going to be, "What do you want to know?" So let me ask you. If something. anything, it should be related to work experience. Let me ask y'all something. <laughs> ask away. Would y'all go on Love is Blind? I would in Fuck a heartbeat. No. I would in a heartbeat. <laughs> Fuck no. I would in a heartbeat. You would? Yeah. Fuck no. Yeah, that's getting the straight up. Hell no, because real. I feel like people play too much. Yeah, and I, I, I think like, you know, I might fuck around and really bond with a midget and I'm going to be pissed. Not a man. I would go on there. I would go on there. And that's what that's what love is blind is actually meant to do. It's meant to erase those different things. That is that's 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 disappointing. What what, that's why it's called love is blind. Mm -mm. You're trying to remove the blind part. Again, you want the answers to the motherfucking test. And you can't, which means that you actually have to be. First and foremost, to you to have person. to be a conversationalist. Yeah. You have to ask real questions. Have to. You have to like if two, first, but if two weeks, you two weeks, and I think the longest <clears throat> conversation they said somebody had on that show was for seven hours. One conversation lasted seven hours. Oh Imagine days. doing that for fourteen days 
straight. That's them old Those house phone conversations. Thank you. Exactly. Hell yeah. That, that, you know what that's like, called? That's that, we gonna pause and take a break. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, I don't got some fly ass shit on right that's, now. That's, that's yeah. on the chat line. Yeah. Yeah. Friday yeah. nights, them church so and that's, shit. So that's what that's, we... That's, that's taking it back. That's real communication. That's real Free communication. After that's where, honestly, if you go back to the nineties, that's where dating was real. And dating it was, was good. It, it and really once again, was. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a blame it on social media. Definitely. <laughs> too I mean, much access to too much, too many different streams. We to got too many reach reach expectations. Too many we watching, we watching too many people live their lives, live yep. certain statuses. Kids are watching kids on TV up. play games. That but is you, a you problem. Know, you know what else? Me. You know what else fucked up our current society? See, we used to look at love as a beautiful thing of two people coming together, right? And that never technically was like a real TV show. Then marriage. Marriage was something that you didn't really see marriage. And then they started putting that shit on TV. Then they started also putting in toxic relationships. And the moment you start, you, you glamorize it. And when you gl- what the fuck are you niggas doing? <laughs> they got something going on. This bitch got me fucked up. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with y'all? I don't know what's wrong with Connie, man. You tripping? <laughs> <laughs> so when you put when you when you glorify bullshit, don't expect real life not to follow. No. Because right. it's always ha- it's always happened that way. Javon mm-hmm. said, "You want to know how they uh, grew up, raised, family orientation, closer to their mom or closer to their fathers?" Yeah, uh, Ken right. said, "Females ask questions leading towards security and comfort instead of asking a man if their knowledge or if there's a life plan or a journey." Oh, she farted all bad. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Honey, <laughs> put up a write it all. You did that. Her ass, her Shots ass. Shots fired. Okay. Y'all niggas what back, I'm right on my phone. Y'all niggas back there farting and shit. <laughs> who who to said that? Who said that? Ken <laughs> said that. He said, oh, she farted all bad. <laughs> yeah, because Connie did one of these. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I, I cried. threw up. Fuck. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> I had to go. Yeah. It's the fact. No, because <laughs> <laughs> You heard it. I'm trying to hold my laugh. She so this she so damn funny. She gonna No, man. but look though, that life plan, that life plan question, that's 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 a setup too. Yeah, because asking a life plan, see again, a man with goals, you're gonna see his goals within the first 90 days. Yeah. Spending spending time with someone is gonna tell you everything about and I'm gonna say this to you too, ladies, is stop asking for a man to be this extra breadwinner. But you also need all of his time because real breadwinners, real providers, we work 10 plus hours a day. If he's working eight hours a day, understand you're going to get an eight hour lifestyle. People know how to make time, though. Right. Come on now. People make time for what they want to make time for, yeah. regardless of how many well, hours you work, take two point how many days you work. People, people know how to make time. But I, I, not, I work what? I, I, I work from sun up to sundown. Sometimes. But there's a, there's a difference, though. Again, I did not say that he wouldn't make time. I said stop expecting on having all of his time. Because he can't give you <laughs> all of his time if he is... The, the provider that you are asking for. I'm cool with that. I don't want to. Because that time. shit costs motherfucking my space. Takes time. Tania said, we'll be breadwinners together to get quality time. And see, that shit ain't real either. Sure Nigga, ain't. you don't want to work that hard. <laughs> sure ain't. You don't want to work like that. Like I'm not working the, as hard as a man, thank regardless. You, like, th- th- thank you. I'm not spit. I'm not splitting the bills with a man. That oh, we can get it together. At all. Shit, that shit is so fuck. I'm tired of seeing motherfucking memes with matching Mercedes, both of y'all wearing <laughs> motherfucking Rolexes, and if parked in front of a fucking mansion, and we did this together. You're a fucking lie. You are a fucking lie. Cause you don't want to. If I'm like, okay, babe. I'm finna put in 18 hours on my job. We gonna get you a job where you put in 18 hours. Which one of y'all gonna say okay? And hell no, I ain't saying okay to shit. And <laughs> when the fuck is we gonna have time? It ain't no time. That's why that we're gonna do this together shit is bullshit. It's bullshit. It does not work. That's not real too. If you're working the, as hard as I work, as masculine as my ass is, for you to be as successful as I am, 
That means you got to do the same shit I do, which is going to make you masculine too. And guess what? That shit is not sexy. Okay. What y'all? Bitches like to get money. (laughs) True. Y'all like to get money, but y'all like like to to spend it too. You're right. You're right. We like to get money. We like to spend money. I just want to make my little money and keep my little money in my and just go out of town and just lay on somebody beach with somebody's son. <coughs> and it, then when it's time, I want to take my man out. I want to take my man here and said, there. I was saying adopt a trade you can do together. No, it's not BS. Name a high paying trade that a female wants to do because you don't want to be a trash man. You don't want to be a carpenter. Uh, you don't want to be a police officer with the nigga. Um, you don't want to be a truck driver with the nigga. Shit, that's time. They got beds in the back. Y'all better quit playing. Uh, okay. No, that means that you're both on the road, not in the same truck, because only one nigga's making money. Oh, well, shit. That's quality time. You still have to spend with them. Oh, oh again. <laughs> <laughs> again. So, again, don't expect a certain lifestyle. I was saying shit. I ain't going to lie. I want to be swept off my feet. And I just want to be. This, this There's level. not a single solitary level trade. You're not going to become a plumber with him, because when you start talking about trades, these are hard working jobs and all trades also require you i mean do hvac you still work in 10 12 14 hour days let that man tell me he's gonna go lay some pipe nigga i'm coming with you too please tell me what trade that you are speaking of that a husband and wife can do together nursing cement and that's not a trade wait what y'all be What's fucking in? What's y'all that? What is that shit? Yeah. Drywall. It's a high paying job. Hey, show is it's a high paying job. But how many hours do you put in? Real estate. A Twelve. Lot. Real estate. Minimum. A lot. Said trades. Thank Never mind. You. So, and are you gonna be working on the exact same shift at the same hospital? Because we nope. already know the answer to that. You ain't gonna see him. He ain't gonna see you. So you still not gonna off, see you each gonna other. Be home. When you on, he gonna be off. So the whole, oh, do a trade together is bullshit. It's, it's bullshit. It's not real. It sounds good. And I understand. This is the, a lot of y'all motherfuckers is sold on shit that sounds good. But in reality, no, it does not work. Happen. It does not work. You're not going to see him. You're not going to see each other because y'all both going to be trading somewhere else doing shit. She said, but y'all, y'all swear you know everything. What? Who is she? <laughs> what trade do she do? We don't know everything. What trade do her man do? Yeah. Today. Where do they work at together? Like, yeah, yeah, and that's, my that's thing. the motherfucker that's going 50-50 on the bill <laughs> yeah, with a yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They that's that's, that's no, fixing no, no, her man no, plate before here, the kids. Here's, here's Next. The She's saying this, but I diddy, guarantee you she won't go 50-50 and, uh, on the bill, bill with a nigga. Shit. I guarantee she won't do 50-50. Because if she wants to do 50-50, there's plenty of niggas at McDonald's Burger King, Long John Silvers, Jimmy John's, I like Subway, John's. Uh, uh, the local car wash. You go pick that nigga up. Well, and I like a free 50, car wash. 50. I like Long John Silvers. Girl, please. I like that. Can they I get the monthly good? pass, no. the twenty four ninety nine. Oh. Yeah, it's impossible, flat out. What they call them? Little it's things? impossible. We ain't going to be able to Something be, be working two hard, working ass jobs and think we going to have time Hush for each puppies. other. <laughs> Tired pussy ain't no good pussy. <laughs> the entire dick ain't no, no good, good dick. <laughs> That's why people get cheated. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Tired pussy ain't no good pussy. Entire dick ain't no good dick." For real. <sighs> Shit. Flat out. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I'm on to drop a beat because I want to hear this bitch flow. So Ooh, me, yo ass. I ain't man. no freestyle. I write my shit. That's down. cool. I know you gonna be able to freestyle. So something I'm about to be. Y'all get too. okay. So you know, before you know, I am working on music <laughs> right now. <laughs> she had to do a whole clap over here. I, I am working on music <laughs> right now. <laughs> I am <laughs> somebody, and I will say that I did. I literally randomly. Was like I want to get in the booth. I've been seeing a lot of females doing, it, and I feel like I, I could have did it, and I did it, and I've been doing it. And, and I you hopped in the booth. <laughs> I hopped in the booth last November, and I got a couple songs now. My one of my songs will be on all mainstream platforms on April first. Period. Okay, wait, so is that a wait? I need to hear this song. You got to send it to me. 
Okay, I, I was about to say because I want to hear it. I want to <laughs> yeah, hear something. I need to hear it. Is it nah, I ain't it? no. Now nah, let me tell y'all something. Nah, nah, don't be trying to backpedal. I'm that. a, I'm a bopper. You feel me? I'm, I'm a bopper. Bop I'm all a, the fuck you want. I ain't you. no J Cole. I just want to hear the shit. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah. so I got a question for for the two newbies. What y'all think of the show? Love the show. Love the show. Like the vibes. Love. The Love vibes. the show. Love the vibes. I thought you was the loud one. How come you so quiet tonight? I'm chilling. Chilling. I've been you, fasting all day. I'm you hungry. hungry. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm hungry. You want a banana? I want uh, some apple. food. So when you eat it, her food right there. My food is right there. So what you waiting on? Oh. Grab that shit and eat. Yeah. The show? Girl, you better yeah. eat. You, you got a spoon? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I'm at a whole motherfucking house. house. You asking yeah. if I got a spoon. <laughs> I ain't gonna Can lie. I get Can I refill my cup? <laughs> Wait a <laughs> lack Because I was trying to refrain from getting up walking in the camera. <laughs> All right, so we got some real life niggas in the house. <laughs> Listen, no, I love the show. I love this show. Y'all can have me whenever y'all want to. I'll be back. I'll have you back. <laughs> uh, this little motherfucker here. You got a show, don't you? You said I got a show. You don't you got a show? Yeah, I got a show. What's it called? It's called No Cap Reacts. No, no, it's called Let's Talk About It. Here, pour this some. Oh, shit. Control. Good Lord, this motherfucker here. Let's talk about it. Okay. You can gladly have, have, one, of, <laughs> have one of your crazies on here. <laughs> yep, let's talk about it. All right. With so Connie Marie. After this, I don't want to hear no more shit about no humble hood. Oh, it's, you know what? It's out. It's done. Please. It's done. It's done. It's finito. It's no more need because it is done. Okay, now God damn it. Hold that mic to your ass too. Who? It's done. What you end up getting for who? Better. <laughs> so today we still waiting to hear if you if you trying to do fifty fifty with a nigga because you was talking real big just a minute ago but you got real quiet real fast. Who me? Who all no, girl? To, yeah. To in the chat. In there in the chat. Uh, she don't want to do 50 50, girl. You do not want to do 50 50. Baby, that's not the life. And I, I ain't mean, gonna lie. It, ain't I, nothing wrong with 50 50 if you can do 50 50, okay? I'm not taking that away from nobody who wants to do 50 50. Ain't nothing wrong with it. But honestly. here's the problem How can a man but, be a man if he's doing 50 50? You really gonna respect the man that's doing 50 50 with you? I want you all. to ask Tania Ooh. if she's ever been in a relationship with a man that's took com- a, like complete care of her. Because if she hasn't experienced that, then she can't speak on if that's something that she would even support. Well, shit, I will say I ain't had no nigga that was taking fully care of me. Shit. So. Well, I'm going to say I ain't never had a nigga that fully took care of me either. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm lying. So, My daddy did. <laughs> okay. So maybe I'm a... You making a mess? You making soup? You <laughs> soup. She eating on camera. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> eat, 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 eat. Now, I respect that. I, I've done Ramadan quite a few times myself. You yeah. have? Yeah, I'm not doing it this year. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I be hungry. I can't do no shit like that. I can, I can easily do it. I only, I only eat twice a day as is anyway. Oh, yeah. No, oh, that's I'm, I'm a hungry motherfucker. I eat like five yeah, times Yeah, because most people get up, we would eat before sunrise, and then you eat after sunset. That's it. That's crazy. I'm so hungry. Oh, that's, see, that's I'm the thing. The whole thing it. is about it. It's about discipline. It's about discipline. It's Mind about, over matter. It is. It is. God gonna give me some. I'm telling you. He and because I didn't did seven day water fast. Wait, what? Seven, no food. Seven days of water only. Yeah, my dis- my level of discipline is way way. I got discipline, and in the words of my nigga Crondo, I also got discipline. <laughs> Damn, I want some discipline. I want discipline like a motherfucker. Because it do be stuff that I just be trying to get done. <laughs> you say you I want just... some discipline too. You got to have a dick to have discipline. <laughs> I'm about to teach my Connie just said you wanted some dick, ladies and gentlemen. No, I did not. Yes, you no, did. I did not. That's what I heard. No, I did not. You said you no, wanted some dick. I said I want some discipline. I said discipline. I just said it slow. Why are you going to do it? I mean, the... I just said dick. That's some crazy. Some, some oh land. my goodness. Some some land. Land. She wants some dick. <laughs> she wants some dick. No. She I'm, wants some I'm sex fasting. Sex fasting? Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, <coughs> yep. She 
food fasting, I'm sex fasting. Haley, what you fasting for? I ain't fasting. Oh, on you shit. fasting from weed, right? I ain't, I ain't fasting. I ain't fasting on no damn weed. I don't smoke weed. Oh, well, damn. I thought it was something. She smoked juice. Weed, yeah, I, weed I, juice. I, She's yeah. a juicer. I don't smoke weed. <laughs> No, I guess you can say I'm fasting on sex too, cause I ain't been doing it. So doing it and doing it and doing it. Well, well, as long as niggas was talking about you got brown teeth and shit on these goddamn shows, I don't know what they talking about. The disrespect. It's they, real. you know, they was talking about me so bad. They want. They was talking about me. I ain't had no titties. They was talking about my makeup because the nigga said he want to do my makeup and shit. Well, Fuck God that damn. Nigga. But you know what? Fuck the, you that know what? Nigga. All, the fact that you even in these motherfuckers. Thought process, <laughs> bitch. We don't know these motherfuckers. Girl, fuck them. They gonna talk about They'll it be the people regardless. That be pictureless. They ain't got no damn pictures on their page, but they sitting up there trolling everybody with the fucking else. Or if they do got pictures on their page, it ain't nothing but memes. Or it's they fucking cat. They got fucking cat selfies Real? all down their fucking page. <laughs> fucking crazy ass motherfuckers. You got a thing against pussy? Hell no. Nah. Shit, we got one between our legs. What you mean? I'm just it's saying. It's a cat joke, motherfucker. Damn. See, I'm um, allergic to cat. And then they were talking about my titties. I ain't had titties since birth, bitch. Ain't no one. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the thing about. I've been on that. This is the thing about titties. The best part the of the fuck? titties is the nipple any fucking way. So it don't matter how big the motherfucking titties is. What the fuck? Y'all better I'm learn. Like you, you not bad, hurt bitch. my feelings by saying I'm flat chested. I'm not about to go lay under the knife like the rest of these bitches getting BBLs and everything in the motherfucking else because y'all are mad that I ain't got no motherfucking titties. And there so you go. what? Now, I know a couple of niggas that there like you these great. Okay, <laughs> get the lick in them like a little motherfucking lollipop. He needs some milk. <laughs> no, that oh, ass. My phone just died. Oh, oh, my crazy. That's the, that's, you know, it's time. It's time to go. Get about my. Just Can make I it hear clear. something? I'm trying to hear something before. Yeah, you want to. Y'all want to hear something right I'm now? I'm trying to hear something. I'm trying to have you spit something. I'm trying to get all that y'all shit. Y'all can up play on the here. song that's about to get streamed on um, April 1st. Hold on. I'm about to give it to y'all. But can well, I'm we play it though? Like as far as not trying to huh? give up the surprise, we are probably drop it. Oh, can I play it? Yeah, no, I'm saying like if you play it, is that gonna like ruin a surprise? Did everybody already hear it or like? I mean, because I don't want to like you know have you no, play it it's here. It's not really. I don't want to play it. I'll play you something else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it, that's gonna drop, you that's why I said you could just freestyle. Yeah, some get shit. your I money, nigga. Get your money. Yeah, I ain't trying to look up I'll the cha cha. Let me see. Let me see what I got up in my phone. Yeah, my shit today. She ain't got shit. Me and my brother, I do a lot of songs with my brother because my brother been doing this shit for Who's real. Your He's brother, real good. Um, he, my brother name is Jay Wan. His name Juan Huncho on um Instagram. We not we ain't known, but we about to get known. Don't worry about it. I'm that's trying to trying to make some we trying to make some motion around this motherfucker. Matter of fact, that's what I play for you. I play motion. A B C D E. <laughs> Put it up to the mic. Oh, here we go. I'm getting to the back now. Can y'all hear it? Yeah, they can hear it. Fuck with me, baby. I got the potion. His bitch mean that she don't want no smoke. Got it all. Got some shit that'll leave the bitch choking. Fuck it up. Go on there, little bit. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. One time, fuck it up. Uh, 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 u
Alright, okay, go ahead, go away. We gonna cut that. We gonna cut that. Y'all need to put that motherfucker out too. Okay. Y'all niggas need to put that out. Yeah, we putting that out. Yeah. It's coming soon. That definitely need to be out. That shit definitely is. That's, that. a, that's a banger. But yeah, thanks for listening, guys. So Thank you so very <laughs> much. Oh my god. Oh good lord. That's a vibe. You know what's funny as hell? What? Because you probably the second person that I've met uh-huh. whose name is about as white as mine. Definitely. And it's the fact it both start with an H. Yeah. It will not be disclosed on this though. But <laughs> It's just funny because when y'all hear my name, you're going to be like, is that a joke? It's literally, Daddy. girl, it is a old lady name for sure. Yeah, I got that good white old white. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm, I, I like my name. I don't like mine. You don't I, like your name? Girl, I go by my nickname, Connie. Girl, Connie. Oh, so you said your first name. Girl. So we don't even, we don't know you. Right. I got yeah, two we first don't, names. We don't know Wilhelmina. You don't know no Wilhelmina. Shit, I hell, I don't know Wilhelmina. Who the fuck Stop is Wilhelmina? Stop acting. Stop <laughs> acting. Wilhelmina? Yo ass is Wilhelmina. That's crazy. My name starts with an H. It's Wilhelmina. H. What is it? H. Heather. Damn. Got your shit right. It is not it. it. Damn. <laughs> Helen. That, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you say that name? She looks more like a hope. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it hope? Listen. Harley. <laughs> Harley. <laughs> Harley, it that's cute. That's cute. I actually like Harley. Yeah, Damn, Harley Quinn. Harper. Harper. I don't know. That's kind of cute too. Yeah, Harper's cute. Harper's cute. I like Harper. Damn, it start with an H and it's mm-hmm. not nothing else. Mm-hmm. Hadley. What the hell is that? I don't know. That, you I know mean, what? Okay. That's the last name. <laughs> she right? just saying shit. Hadley. <laughs> For real. She just guessing away. <laughs> I guess Tani ain't gonna answer that question. We asked. She it. probably logged well, off. What's he, what's he, what's he, what's he, no shade, boo. <laughs> I'm trying to. Think. I just. I that you know. was nasty. It wasn't all that. I just got to get warm, but it's good. I got a little bit of energy. I'm I chilling. Just wanna, I just so you gonna talk shit? I just shit want her now? to answer that question. Is what's it Heidi? Question? Is it Heidi or Hattie? Word, that's crazy. Heidi is crazy. Or what, Hattie? No, Hattie. Hattie McPherson. It's not Heidi. No, it's not Heidi. Hazley, Helena. That's crazy. You know what? I want that girl, Tanea, her name is. I want her to answer that question if she's ever been fully, completely taken care of a man. Like, been taken care of. Completely. Yeah, Tanea, have you ever had a man that 100% took care of you? If she does come back. She has it. No, she came back. She oh, she said, did? Uh, she said, sorry, I was on the phone. What did you ask? One, question number one, would you go 50-50 with a man? Because if so, how come you're not dating a man that is at... McDonald's, Burger King, uh, Long John Silver's, shit, Golden Pizza Corral, Hut. Pizza Hut, Little Caesars, Car Wash, Car Wash, Del Taco, Del Taco. <laughs> There's a lot of places that a nigga will go fifty fifty with you on it, and he'll make enough money to go do fifty fifty. And question number two: Have you ever had a man take care of you one hundred percent? Them dots are gonna be going, going. No dots. You're going to be typing. Well, first of all. (laughs) Uh, Light bright. Yeah. Wait, hold on. She said, I don't do percentage. I do what is required. What's required? What's required? required? Now, who requiring it? Who made these rules? Who made these rules? Is this in the policies and procedures? The requirements and boundaries. What made you decide to go into uh into the medical field? Who me? Hmm. Talia. Me personally, you can do so much with it. You're not stuck um, in one type of specialty. I get bored real quick with things. Mm-hmm. So I like to change it up. That's why you ain't got no man. You keep getting rid of the motherfuckers. I do got a man. <laughs> but anyways you can change your specialty up she said um, it just depends on our financial situation and lifestyles 
Is that is she answering my question? She can't be answering my question, right? Yeah, no. Okay. The, so the, the second question was, have you ever had a man 100% take care of you? Yes or no? And she said... She didn't answer it yet. Yeah, she okay. ain't answered it. Well, guys, I am now officially a teacher. I am no longer a substitute. Can we, you know... Congratulations. Can we make a noise? <laughs> you know <Yeah>. what? <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Thank you. I asked you. for your help. That, no, that'll work. I asked for your help, and you didn't help me, teacher Connie. You know Okay? I asked wait you. Wait a minute. No, no, no. I don't want to hear that bullshit. See, you want the answers to all the tests, but I had a real spelling test, and you did not give me You're, what the fuck I needed. You know what? You it's, supposed it's, to she be wrote my back. teacher. She wrote I'm back. telling she my mommy. Back. I'm telling her. Back. Fuck her. <laughs> fuck her. I'm about to fuck it <laughs> See if Tania she is said, uh, not to That's stir no. the pot or anything. She has it. But Connie, do you think you could have beat Daryl's ass if you get if you get to that hey, point? Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's from Deshaun Deshaun Hopkins. I ain't gonna lie. I was already thinking about grabbing him from his shirt and slamming him. Oh <laughs> Violence is never the answer. It's not. But if I had to, I was already planning an escape. You get what I'm saying? I told so, you if you would if you would ask, I, I had you. I already did ask. And what did you tell me? You was out. You had to go drop your kids off. No, not that ask, nigga. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nah, I can handle lightweight. Now I you, was already. You could have had the toy. I was already, you know, planning an escape. If I had to, I'm. So, and that's so crazy. I'm so serious. I. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. To you. I don't think shit. I don't know what his hands is capable of, but I know what mine would have been. <laughs> I would have got the fuck up out of there quick, fast after a slam and a with, couple with of or without the nails. I would have been in that bitch boxing <laughs> like yeah. a motherfucker. Listen, I was already like, you know, when you on edge like this, like okay, keep on motherfucker, like you right here. I'm like okay, okay. <coughs> I'm just looking like, yep, I already know I'm about to take this step. I'm about to. She must have took another foot. telephone call because she ain't responding again. I'm about to go ahead and grab him right here, and I'm finna just throw him into the wall, and I'm finna. Oops. I know y'all interview was the most watched interview. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Man, listen. I see, this is the thing. People don't really know what actually happened, right? For it to be the most watched uh, interview, but uh, it was a whole lot of lies that was being told. And like he said on the clip, you know what? I, I told you, I took a screenshot of that clip. I wish you could <laughs> actually put it up there where he said, "I was saying everything to win. I was saying everything to get you out the door." And then once we got off stage, that's when I was transparent. What? So as of right now, y'all's is at 114,000 views. Uh, Let's see. Our show got the most views for show. That's because your ass was on there beatboxing their ass. But but you know what, though? (laughs) It's so... Oh, this is a whole nother video. It's a clap. Oh, I know who this nigga is. He, huh. do, he doing a review. T. Pendell. Yo, that shit is so the fucking fact that funny. T, the fact uh. that T. Pendell actually is doing is doing this is crazy as fuck. I got to watch this one later. No, I'm not going to lie. That shit had me rolling. I was he watching said, it on my Cloud way here. chasing Daryl and Connie update. <laughs> <I'm weak. laughs> Damn, that's bad. Damn, they calling him Cloud Chasing Daryl. Yeah, I'm finna pull this up right now. I'm watching Darryl this later. Con- uh, okay, so Tania finally came back and she said, I was a housewife for a few years because my husband wanted me to be able to be there for the kids when we first moved here. However, I had savings of my own and my 401k for us to fall back on. Deshaun said, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of though, the names Connie and Daryl sound... A, a couple that's been that's together been for to get, 40 years and never got and never married. Got married. <laughs> so he must have saw that comment off of Facebook. I mean, off yeah. of Instagram and copied it. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is there. This is this is this is funny. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. And I gotta say thank you to you motherfuckers for tuning in. We definitely yeah, appreciate you. this. All right, uh, we'll do this in reverse now. So the mouth of the south. I'm the mouth of the West. What do you mean? (laughs) (laughs) True story. 
Uh, final thoughts. You was, can we get to what? Final thoughts, nigga. Oh. <clears throat> well, I definitely enjoyed the show. I definitely enjoyed these young, beautiful ladies. I'm definitely glad to have you ladies here. Definitely, truly appreciate it. It's been fun. Uh, for those y'all know, y'all can find Fuck me on you. In- Okay. <laughs> Keep- You're a badass teacher. That's a sock. <laughs> You I'm going to tell my student. mama. I'm going to tell my mama. Tell your motherfucking mama. Tell she going to beat your ass. She going to beat your fucking ass. that bitch ear off. Listen you ain't going to do okay? shit. You ain't going to do shit. <laughs> you not going to do nothing. Y'all can find me Big on Instagram. Don't listen to her. She ain't shit. At Connie Marie. That's why you ain't Connie Marie. 420. Marie got two Listen to what I'm saying. Wow. You know what? I'm not even. Right, I'm not ahead. competing with that. Go ahead. I'm not competing with that. <laughs> Nah, Where can they find you? Y'all can answer? find me on Instagram, Connor Marie, 020. Marie got two E's at the end. Whole lot of gang shit. There will not be a show this coming Sunday. It is Easter <laughs> Sunday. Easter Sunday. She is okay. going to be chasing Easter eggs and with shit. my baby. She's okay. going to be with her kids. Do any of y'all know what Riz is? What, what Riz? What Riz? Is? Oh my God. I know you're not asking that question. What? I'm not? What is that? What's exactly. That? I'm trying to figure the fuck out too. It's games. Just kids call it Riz. Even I know what that shit is. I'm the oldest nigga in the room. Did y'all know that? No. no. Okay, thank you. I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, thank oh you. Because my, my son bit the shit to me. And I was like. See, Riz means you got game. Does Sean know what the fuck it is? But it's the fact they got a whole little shit you do, some shit you do this to a person's face. And they be like, oh, you just got Riz. Shit's stupid. Oh yeah, that's that's some you kid just, shit. You just, I don't you know. Just, it's about dumb. It. If some that's like you ain't, no, you ain't got no wash your hands before you, ain't got you no get ribs. to putting your finger you ain't got no in on my face right. and shit. You ain't got no ribs. I know like, that thing. don't do that to me. Like don't, you gonna don't get ribs up? I'm aware. Jet better not come home doing that shit. I tried to do it to my son. He looked at me so fucking stupid. <laughs> 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 Because oh, my, I did see you doing that on your. Uh, girl, he said, I was, like he was trying to look in the camera, and I was like, okay, I'm close enough to his face, so I tried it, but I guess I failed every. I played myself every time. He was like, "What the fuck?" Like, <laughs> yeah, that's. I old. said, "That's not how you do it," and he said, "No," and then he then he slapped the shit out of me at the end. I had to cut the camera, but you know, <laughs> that's like you don't know, you don't, you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You ain't ready for this shit. Listen, he play when I say they play too much, but it's because yeah. I slapped the fuck out of him though. You can <laughs> Next, Talia, what did you think of the show? How was the show? Was good. Final I thoughts, enjoyed final it. Final thoughts. First podcast. Oh, this your first? Yeah. Pop that cherry. This is my first. So I think it went I got well. to take two virginities in one night. Wasn't even trying. <laughs> okay. And thank you, Connie. You brought but me you some know, fresh meat. I'm the, I'm the, yeah, you, you brought know, me some fresh meat. I'm the young <laughs> Miami to your ditty right now. You give me no, 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 no. Stop that shit now. <laughs> we ain't going there. Yeah, here. please. Please. We got we to say that Look, for another show. I ain't going to say And she coming here talking about I got music and shit. Hey. hey don't be fun, bud. Check me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Talia, we ain't going to see your shine. Come on, let's go. What you want me to say? Okay. <laughs> Your final thoughts. Final thoughts. Final the show thoughts. was good. I enjoy you guys. This whole time. I'm tired. This is past fast her ta- bedtime. It's fast taking everything out of me. So it definitely <laughs> will be on a some shows in the future. Yep. I feel we'll sorry for shit. your man. We heard it here first. Tired pussy ain't good pussy. Tired Baby, I'm tired. Pussy. She Y'all can't tired. find me on Instagram. At underscore Talia one. That's T A L I. I was about to say. Oh, she want them to be found now. Then I'm fine. I'm finna go. Look, 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 look. Where my phone at? <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Definitely appreciate last, you. Ladies. Last but not least, uh, <laughs> brown mama. brown teeth with 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 great nipple, <laughs> great titties. Not gra- <laughs> irritating ass. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the show was great. I love the show. I was so happy to be here. And it's definitely it's my uh virginity. So it was my podcast virginity, so I just broke it today. Damn, I wish I didn't so know. So I know cannot that. wait to do another one. I'll have you Hell back. You yeah. ain't gotta worry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all can follow me at Haley Jane H A I L E Y J A I N E. 
and you can be able to you'll be able to find everything that you need to know as far as like booking with me for hair, my music, everything else that's going on with me. You'll be able to find it there. And ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know. I definitely want to say thank y'all for tuning in for another episode of No Cap Reacts. Tonight's ladies' night. This ladies' night was an extra special ladies' night. Uh, yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. With that, 